Welcome to the Old World Fanatics, your Warhammer Fantasy podcast to quench your hobby thirst for all things the Old World. And I'm back. I'm one of your hosts, Gomo, and I'm joined by Josh, who did an admirable job doing this intro last week, mate. Oh, you? thank you. It's very generous of you. <laughs> I did my best. I feel uh, a bit bad about always going on holidays. Um, <laughs> Lee, and you're the only one who's, oh. I think when we look at the host, like the attend, what's it called, like the, who's on each pod, you're the only one who's. I'm the only one. <laughs> Is that a good thing or a bad thing? <laughs> no. <laughs> Dedicated. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It always my, seems my, like... No, you're right. My holidays will be around CanCon when I'm doing that. Uh, <laughs> That's just all I am anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because we'll hopefully we're doing content then. I was saying Andrew and I always seem to be doing like ships in the dark type thing when we go on holidays. Like we can't time it, which is probably good. Oh, I you guess. literally are. Like, because yeah. he's gone away, what... Today or Today, the day before? And I got back. Yeah, yeah. you got back. Yeah, it's really Sorry. weird. So incredible. Yeah, I don't know. We'll uh-huh. see. This year, it was just twenty twenty three was the year of um, just yeah, my work settled down a bit in terms of like I I stepped back from doing stuff because I'd sold the business and you know was working there, but then stepped back and I was like, oh, you know, this year's going to be holidaying, so that's what we did. I don't know what the hell I'm doing this year, so. We'll see. Mm. I mean, I'm working, but it's not one of those things where I, I don't really know what I'm doing for the next few years in terms of do I start a whole new business? Do I just go work for someone else? Do I just do what I'm doing now? <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> You're at a crossroads. So, I'm at a crossroads. But then the old world drops. I'm like, do I do that? Can I make that a profession? Do you just focus on that? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know. Right. Anyway. You don't have time to start a new business. No, I've got, right. got a hobby to do. I've got a hobby to do. Yeah, yeah. And then you see the price, and then you get which uh, you know we'll get to, and then I go, oh crap, I do need a job anyway. Um, <laughs> all good. We are going to um, pay for your hobby. Yeah, I think that's the reality of it, isn't it? Um, we are going to like I literally got back today. Um, flew in from New Caledonia, so it's not that far really. Um, but I haven't. There was just so much that dropped, and you guys were incredible. I mean, drop, we were texting yeah. back and forth. But, you were man. glued to your phone for half your holiday, weren't yeah. you? <laughs> Well, it was a relaxing one. We're laying in the sun, so it's 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 not bad to to check your phone a little bit. So yeah, Fair especially if it wasn't work related. <laughs> so, oh yeah, man, it it all happened basically, and we it thought it happened. might, and um, yeah, it all. So it's I been think, a massive week. Yeah, so I I can't pretend to know that I've gone through everything with a fine tooth comb, and you probably. Can't even even with no, the not at all, dropped. not at all. Yeah. Uh, uh, to be honest, I've probably forgotten a half of what was in the articles uh, mm. since I've read it, because there's been so many more articles mm. I followed it. You know, yep. Um, yep. But yeah, and now, we'll like, I don't even know if today's the right day. To, like, we might be able to go back to Monday podcast and the way it's going because I, I don't even know. They're going to drop I think that. So. Um, they're going to drop that other almanac around. Uh, round table stuff and that's probably it sounds like that's going to be this week which might be on a thursday or who knows when it'll be so at yeah, some point we just go i'll oh, bugger it let's go back to our normal i think they're just trying to crack him out before the as much as they came before the sixth yes but I yeah i don't so. think they're going to be waiting <clears throat> yeah for that weird tuesday morning monday evening mm. depending on the time zone release slot anymore no, I don't um, think so. And they're getting yeah. so much new articles that, yeah, we're not like waiting for that one weekly thing anymore. So, yeah, I yeah. think we can go back to old Mondays. Yeah. So, anyway, we'll see. And um, anyway, obviously, you guys also got out the Christmas. Well, it wasn't even a Christmas. It was more of a New Year's uh, extravaganza crossover podcast with the other guys that came out. So, I think everyone's been... Uh, a lot of holiday that listening. was so fun yeah, <laughs> wasn't that was it fun, wasn't it was so it? ridiculous yeah. i feel like i was on like a a, a sleepover in like you know <laughs> late second or early secondary school yeah. you know, times yeah. when you would have four or five friends over to play warhammer all night and you just yeah yeah, yeah. yeah have those kind of conversations Weird like conversations. at 2 a.m when you're yeah. lying in bed <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> was, yeah. um, that was really good yeah and i'm so uh i mean obviously chris was up at Christopher was God, 4 a.m. in the morning or something to make that. So I was like, man. That was some dedication. That's, so that's the dedication yeah. to the hobby that, you know, we'll definitely need in 2024. <laughs> but anyway, cool. Well, let's get on to it. So again, once, um, like usual, it's, I mean, we've been, there is all the news is the news that we're going to talk about, basically. Uh, all these articles that dropped. And, yeah. Um, the, the news is the, yeah. It's the content. The episode. Yeah. <laughs> Basically. Um, before we kick into that, I might just, I mean, everyone would have seen it by now. A little. We'll start off with the sad notes so that we can just 
keep things mostly happy because um, there's one more bit of sad news in there probably, but um, <laughs> at least for Aussies. Uh, but, yeah, Brian Ansell passed um, on mm, the 30th yeah. of December or 31st for us, I think it was over here. I can't remember. Um, and, yeah, I knew he was not yeah, well because I think I'd seen that on like his – because his wife's you? done um, – they, they got this um, – Man, I should prep for this. Uh, there's an Instagram channel that's all he, all stuff from his sort of collections and stuff. Um, that's sort of what I started looking at before I even got back into the hobby a bit last year. Right. They, they, he did this other little um, really small uh, sort of, uh, what do you call it, like art exhibition um, just for local people and they just came and saw all this stuff. I can't remember. It's something like um, the Ansel's collection or something like that. I'll, I'll get a link to it. Um, but, yeah, then when I started following it, then all these interviews, you know, all these books have come out about the whole history of G-Dub. Yeah, um, yeah. You've been, you've been following that, Yeah, you? and you just, you know, I knew he wasn't very well. Um, but mm. I just, you know, I, yeah, you have no idea about people's personal lives but um and i think diane obviously used to run a lot of the hr and all that sort of admin i think in g-dub so she's obviously in you know is used to you know filling everyone in with um, oh, brian's okay. news and stuff so yeah that was a bit of sad news for us just given um i mean i don't know him or anything so it's not sad in that way but it is it, he would have to be the main <laughs> contributor to its success i think if you i don't know how much do you know about the history too much about Oh, His involvement or just barely? Or... I, I, I know a lot less than you do. <laughs> I, 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 man, I don't know too much. Yeah. But I, I mean, he was the guy, I mean, but he found. Yeah, he I believe founded he, was, he Citadel, was a co-founder, wasn't, wasn't he? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so I think it was um, whatever it was before Citadel. And then um, Steve and Ian brought him in. And there was this kerfuffle for a bit where, because he's, I, you know, anyone who's worked with him, I think would say, He's um, a character to work with, especially when he's the boss. Um, but he, you know, he was the main guy that turned it into from a role playing company, really, into into Warhammer. You know what I mean? And actually bringing mm. out, like, you know, the you join the figures with the game, so to speak. You know what I mean? In terms of yeah, not just right. selling other people's games, he left because he couldn't. Uh, there was some issue. I don't know what happened. Um, and then what didn't wasn't get. This is early, whatever eighties or whatever. Wasn't going great. And um, Ian and, and Steve got him back to run it again and become the GM or whatever it was. And then, um, and obviously gave him a chunk of the company and stuff and things like that. And then they eventually, you know, went off to do fighting fantasy. And of course, then the history is, you know, Brian got, you know, basically the, all the dudes from TSR pretty much, which is where I think Tom Kirby came from, which then did the management buyout and that's, and you get the sort of internationalization of G-Dub, which is, but Prior to that, you know, Brian brought the chaos stuff and all the, you know, all the types of crazy characters that we know of, of as Warhammer. Right. <laughs> it's, yeah. It's come so out of his craziness, a lot of it, the people hammer. that he put together. So, yep. um, yep. yeah, I think we all owe yep. him a bit of a thanks, even though, and especially it's just, it's sort of timely in a bit of a morbid way that obviously the whole world's coming out to keep him alive, like keep his, I guess, um, you know, just all that sort of memory alive i guess it's going to be pretty cool so yeah yeah, yeah it's, it's going to be fun um but anyway i just thought it worth mentioning that and people hadn't seen it go check it out on facebook there's a bit of a you know just a couple of posts about it from different people and what he means and stuff so a bit of somber news but let's get on to mm. the good stuff which is um the old world stuff but i guess before then did you want to do you got some hobby and i obviously didn't um, oh, do you want yeah. to do hobby and then yeah, jump let's into do the main it. Topic? Let's do it because yeah, yeah the, the rest of the news is the main topic. So yeah. I guess this is the appropriate time that it, I can get into what I've been <laughs> up to while you've been uh, <laughs> lounging by the beach. Yep, yep. <laughs> uh, and fighting um, off, uh, fighting off native creatures, which I probably won't go into. But yeah, we had some injuries, but that's cool. Not too yeah, many, so. some sea urchin injuries. Yeah. <laughs> God, <laughs> anyway. it's crazy. Yeah. Um, I haven't been modelling sea urchins. <laughs> I feel like undersea creatures. It's too hard to do because <laughs> yeah, you know, they need to be under the water. Your little, you didn't put that in your your lake, your inlet. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't fit the theme. Uh Oh man, that would have been fun. That would have been a really cool idea, actually. Yeah. It's just hard to get the right visibility nah, for that. That would be hard. Yep. Yep. Anyway. 
I would have had some fun doing that. that. Sorry. Yeah, no. That would have... <laughs> well, the thing is, I I started off with this inlet thinking it was like a half a lake, but the yeah. more I more I built it, I'm more thinking it's actually is like a sea inlet. Oh, Because um, right. yeah, I, well, that's one of the things I did was actually poured the resin for that mm. um, thing. Oh. Um, cause I'd done the other ponds a while ago and I just hadn't got around to doing the sea inlet cause it, cause it's an open edge. Yeah. You um, had to do that. Than just a like, self-contained yeah. one. So yeah. I, I did all the PVA gluing and the, you know, preparation for it. And then I ran out of time on the day. And so I was a couple of weeks later, but now I've pulled the resin again. I underestimated the translucency of it slightly and had to add in some extra color after I poured it. Um, uh, but that's okay. Uh, the thing I do need to do because it's really not done. It's just a, a glass, you know, uh, you know, glossy surface of a bluish, you know, semicircle with some edging on it. Now, mm. um, is to ma- actually make it look like a a sea inlet. Because I need to look at uh, modeling some some Wave. waves. And that you talked about this the other way. Did you do that with like a fan or anything? Or how do you do it? You just do it with. Oh, like how did no. you do so it? So this is I'm talking different. So oh. that was where I was doing the ripples. Oh, so for yeah, me, right, ripples yeah. is different to waves. Yes, so. <laughs> okay. That's fair enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the, yeah, the ripples I was doing, yeah, I would just use some glossy Mod Podge and I'd use an airbrush and I would just like oh, hit it awesome. until we got a nice sort of like, like yeah, natural looking sort of variation on the surface. But with sea waves, I, mm. oh, it's got to needs it needs to be like a bit more sort of peaky a bit yep, more um, yep. defined um uh, and i saw a couple i saw a technique where a guy had like done some like a it almost made like a self-contained wave but just using resin on like a sheet of plastic um uh in you know into like a long thin um sheet i guess so then he just mm. like shaped it into a wave and then put it on top of the put other resin and just like blended it in with um uh your your, your foamy water or or even yeah. just your snow um flock yeah. as using that as foam so and this and then he sort of blended in doing that so and that were look pretty good so i might look at doing that but it seems pretty time consuming so and i don't think i've got time to do that <laughs> um with all the other stuff i've got going on before yeah. cancon yeah. so yeah i'll look at that at, at some stage um uh because yeah cancon's not far away no i oh, know not yeah, far away at all. Close. Oh my god! So yeah, yeah um, there's a whole bunch of stuff that we need to get done for it. Um, yeah, yeah. So one of them is so I printed. I mean, Patty's got a whole bunch of 3D design carts. Um, uh, so she sent me some of the SDLs. So I've been printing those off because we need to get 32 of them mm. <laughs> printed and painted before getting yeah. Uh, for one of the scenarios. Um, uh, so, so is I've she done, printing? Because she's sending me some, isn't she? Well, I asked her to. Yeah, I, we haven't we haven't worked it out. I think okay. yeah. If if you want, if you can paint some up, that'd be helpful. Mm, because mm, yeah, no, totally. I said that I would, but I probably should check with her now that I'm back. Maybe we can all catch up, not on the podcast, but you know, with her later, just to, yeah, you know, do any yeah. logistics. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, no. So because yeah, I got it. Yeah, I printed off. Some, I've printed off a dozen of those now. Like I can fit maybe four on each on the plate. Oh, yeah. So it's like, and I've had a, one of them kept failing, which has been annoying. But yeah, I managed to get a dozen now. Um, and then I've got a bunch of stuff to, to do for the um, for the doubles as well. So like the doubles, I've got, oh, I've got, did... I wanted to do. Well, there's some objectives for those as well. Oh, yeah, I didn't even see that. I probably haven't looked yeah. at it. That's why. But yeah. No. Yeah. No. So. I gotta do. Uh, I can either use the carts, or I might be able to use some carriages for one of the scenarios for the um, uh, for the second one. Which is, yeah. So I might have I'm printing off some carriages as well, but uh, uh, also the second scenario. Um, each one has got like five little uh, arcane sort of objectives that can be picked up. So like I've so I'm using just some scrolls or books or um uh wizardy sort of staffs and the type right. of thing. It's gonna like put it on a little base and, and yep. use that as an objective. Yep. And so I, I found some um wizardy a wizardy bookshelf for like a bookcase, like a piece of furniture. <laughs> I just gotta <laughs> use that as an objective too. Yep. Um uh so yeah, it's just it's just just some fun little things like that. I don't think that'll take me a huge amount of time now I've printed them. Um uh but you know, I do have to do quite a few of them, so you just got to crack on through that. Um, and then, what else am I doing? I've, oh, that's right. I've printed off your scorpions, by the way. Oh, good. I've got those. Yeah. I've printed those off. Did they fail? Uh, oh, they were okay. It was, they were okay. Thing you had they were fine. With the scenery. It was the, the you know, the yeah. columns. Yeah. Because yeah. it's like it fills up the whole plate, 
And then right. between the initial burnt layers and the regular layers, it just seemed to detach. And mm. I was like, oh, this is really annoying. Um, so I've managed to get one off and then I might, I'm going to try and see if I can change out the support a little bit. Because I've been trying to print them directly on the, on the build plate, but I yeah. might just have to try to Is that the suction the thing that causes the issue? Is that what you mean? Because I've heard that is bad with 3D printing when there's like it's a flat well, surface, you know what I mean? Because like, it's always a bit of yeah, suction. Yeah, a little bit of function, suction. I mean, you shouldn't get too much suction in that it's not hollow. Like, it's right, just solid. Okay. Yeah. So, in theory, there shouldn't be suction. But, yeah, I guess the larger it is, the more suction issue you can have as well. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, but, but, yeah, anyway, I'm fiddling with that. Hopefully, I can get them off. But, um, yeah, we'll see. I mean, they're less. Go with that. Yeah, I feel like the scorpions so yeah, yeah. I'd rather priority. yeah, the scorpions I'd rather just have, like so I'm gonna dump for CanCon. But I mean yeah. and if I mean geez, if it doesn't I'll sort something else out, it's not that big a deal. But yeah. I yeah, can always just send those up. Maybe I'll send yeah. them up with some carts. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, well I'll message um yeah, we should sort that um yeah. with Patty. Because if she's already printed some, she might be sending them. Because I gave her my address. So I don't know if she's. Oh, you did. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah so maybe anything. she. Maybe she's already sent yeah. them. I don't know. With the cut, sorry, not to dwell on that too much. Are they like all the same, or because has she gone and she done different... has done different ones? Yeah, so she's okay. got lizard <laughs> one, I did, and a chaos I saw dwarf you guys one, talking a dwarf, about something, but a that skeleton wasn't the one. I was one. Looking at. <laughs> okay. She's got. Yeah, okay. a one with like it's a yeah. goblin one with a massive squig drawing yeah, the cart yeah, yeah, with two yeah, little yeah, goblins exactly. dancing on top. Like they're great. And yeah. they're like, yeah, super themey the way yeah, yeah, cool. the way she always does. I love it. Oh, awesome. Um and I think she's she just in the mm. last hour she sent me another photo of a next one, which is like a chaos cart. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it, but uh, it's like I, with a, a Zenich beastman like riding riding it or oh, something. Oh right. It's, oh yes, yeah. okay. But it's hard to describe. Yeah, I mean, it's not it's great very hard to describe. But yes, okay. it's hard once to describe, we get them done, we will guys, put them somewhere where people can see them. Yeah, if awesome. you come into CanCon, you'll see them. It'll just be like, <laughs> oh my god, what is? Yeah, it's so creative. Yeah. Um, she's been doing the the trophies as well, oh, like that sculpting awesome. those up. I want. Oh, I just want so them. Good. Maybe not the actual trophy part as such, the base, but I want those figures that she's been making. Are we supposed yeah. to say what they are yet, or I don't want to give anything away if it's. Oh, I th- no, I think we can talk about them. Oh, okay. If you so want it's, to. There's a go trick and Felix attacking a dragon. It's awesome. Oh, so cool. Yeah, that's <laughs> the main trophy. She's got <laughs> other ones coming as well, but the main trophy, yeah, she's got go trick and Felix I mean, tracking. And then, and, and and she, cause she's, cool. she's played on the, the um, CanCon uh, Game Society like icon, sort of, with a dragon mm. and the dice in it. It's yeah. sort of subtle, but um, yeah. and then, yeah, she's really warhammered it up with the Go Trek and Felix theme. Yeah. I love it. I love <laughs> it so much. Um, uh, cool. uh, but, yeah. Uh, uh, so that's all That's all in the so works. A lot of printing still to go, but so much printing. to the end of it and then actually painting. Yeah, actually paint, yeah, priming and painting it up and that type of thing. Um, but I've also been doing other actual hobby, not just printing stuff off. Um, because yes, I finally finished my cow and sheep paddocks. Mm-hmm. I've sold took them. Ages. They're all awesome. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. They, yeah, they took me. I think it's been six weeks ago that I started looking back at the photos I have. Mm. I saw yeah photos are taken of like blank MDF boards for those back in the middle of November. <laughs> so it's like <laughs> it's taken a while to get there. Um, but yeah, I put them up on my Instagram. Um, Josh Crouch, why? Um, if people want to see it, you should probably put yeah. a link in the yeah, show no, notes or something. Yeah. Um, uh, and just this afternoon, so I was um, planting the wheat out for the other field that I'd been doing at the same time as the paddocks. <laughs> <laughs> kind of got. But if I someone like, was listening to this right now, they'd go, "What? What is this? Do I get on a Warhammer podcast, or a farming <laughs> podcast?" <laughs> Oh, and, and we won't get into this, I don't think, but I did laugh last episode at you and Andrew. You, you Again, going back talking about the anatomy of the scorpion with its eight legs <laughs> and two pincers. And, and I was like, yeah, it's really 10 legs. The, I know. It's it's five pairs of that. legs. That just that makes no sense. The GW ones, I think, had six, but nah, these, these ones, like, was it eight? eight. Or? I'm pretty oh. sure. Because um, when, you, when you said that, I went, I think it is too because I painted it. Two of them. I think. I think it does have eight. I, I, oh, I can't see them here. I, I have to go, get them out of the cabinet. Six, but yeah, okay. But yeah, the ones I printed Maybe definitely right. had eight, <laughs> okay. and then two pincers. <sighs> Outrageous. <laughs> Maybe it does, and that way they can't get done for IP or anything. <laughs> <'Cause> yeah. <it's> 
That wouldn't surprise me. It's got me. a different number of appendages. Yeah, it's not a Sorry, scorpion. Yeah. It's it's completely different anatomically. To We're going to have to add a new segment to the podcast. Warhammer fantasy. Um, Josh's outrageous, outrageous <laughs> about inappropriate anatomy of yeah. Warhammer fantasy. <laughs> Oh dear. Um, uh, but yeah, anyway, yes, my farming continues. So the, the wheat, so my wheat, Colin, it's pretty intricate. <laughs> I've been planting these wheats out one by one. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, how many, oh wait, hold on. I have to count up how many I had. So it was five packets. It was 160 wheats. Wow. What? So I had to drill a little holes for each one yeah. through the the um through the base and um yeah whoosh 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 each mm. each individual one. Wow, this is dedication. <laughs> Whoever's playing on these tables, they better appreciate it. So yeah, <laughs> if you... I don't know. I, I'll need to put get some little bit of a clear acrylic to put over it or something because yeah. it's not really. Unfortunately, that is not designed to be put on. Have goods put on it. Unfortunately, no, so no, I'll no. have to think yeah, about exactly. that. But um, the gaming. Where did I say that? Is it 40K or someone else does that where they do all that and then they put a piece of clear acrylic over the top? I can't remember oh, what it was. I've seen I've, that, but I can't I've never remember which seen game anyone system. Do that Maybe it was some 40K ones they were doing it with. Uh, I mean, it looks okay. a bit weird, but like you sort of get it, you know. You understand why you're doing it. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah. It should be removable. You just put it on yeah, there when yeah, you've got when guys going over it. Top. Yeah. 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 Um and then actual Warhammer, yeah, I was I haven't finished my cold ones yet, but I'm like ninety five percent done on them. Um almost there. <laughs> almost there. I've been doing the cold what? ones for ages too. And you have to when's when was the date for that one? Uh it's fourteenth. Oh, okay. Fourteenth of Jan. So I've got plenty yeah. of time okay. to, to knock those off between now and then. Um <clears throat> I do kind of I want them ready for CanCon as well in a way. Like yeah. if I'm using them for the doubles, yeah. I need to get them done. And then also some shades and a, and a Slanish Fiend as well to make up it to a thousand points. Yep. Um, so yeah, I've got a lot to crack mm. on with. <laughs> God, yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm the same though now that I'm starting to add stuff up. Cause I'm like, cause I haven't, I've been in that holding pattern. That's why I've been doing like orcs or a little bit of Horus Heresy. Cause I'm like, I don't know what I'm going to do. And then suddenly you're like, oh crap. You know, not only do I need to do, Oh, well, I'll get on to mine in a minute. Are you done? Or is yeah, that that's it. Doing? Oh, that is no, that's okay. it. Okay. Um, that's a good segue then. Um, yeah, because yeah, I'm perfect. like, I need to get those scorpions done. That's just for CanCon. But now that the whole world has dropped, or will, you know, but in, you know, I guess we were hoping we might do some casual games of old world in CanCon and we might still be able to. We're not sure. We'll talk about that in a minute. Um, yeah, yeah. I was thinking, well, I don't actually have a full eighth Tomb King army because all I've done is six, so I need to finish painting the um, the snake roll. I was thinking because I don't obviously right now we have no idea about how good things are in the game, so I want it'd be nice to just have like one of nearly everything painted. You know what I mean? Like a unit of the snake riders, a unit of the Acropolis Knights, that type of thing. You know, like all that sort of yeah, stuff. Yeah, so that's, um, that's the fun of it, isn't it? Just yeah, diving in without really knowing. Anything <laughs> about what's good and what's, what's not good. good. Bad. Well, obviously, I wouldn't have a dragon list. done because it wouldn't. A we won't even have it probably. Um, nah. But in terms of the snake riders, yeah, not Necropolis Knight. Sorry, what they're called. Um, and at least one of the war sphinxes that I've got, I could probably have them done if I. Because those scorpions are probably going to be pretty quick. I think it's probably more assembling them and all that crap. Because I was thinking, yeah, wouldn't mind making them a bit different, if you know what I mean. Like maybe one make one fully look like it's coming out of sand. Oh, like I might not yeah. use it all. That's the problem. I'll probably, <laughs> you printed it all, I probably wouldn't use all of it because oh, yeah, it's coming out, but you know what I mean. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I, I don't know, I was thinking of that. And I thought if I did that, last resort, if I couldn't get them all painted, I could do that by first. And that way it is different to the other two. But like if, you know, if something comes up and I can't get it done in time, like, then I'm I'm done, you know. So I don't yeah, know. yeah, because you just need that extra one because you got yeah. two anyway. Yeah, 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 for sure. Um, um, they they won't be hard to put together though. Like it's okay. going to be much easier than metal. Yeah, like, well, the, res the resin glues so thing. easily. Oh, okay, well, that's good. Yeah, like yeah. if anything, it takes it up and dry. Like it sets it's almost too, quick. too quickly. Yeah, <laughs> almost yeah, okay. like you just yeah. like look at it. That's taken. 
Okay, um, well, that's probably good, but so yeah, yeah it's light and dark compared to metal. Yeah, because how on earth did you get those legs? Because it's I the same design, them. isn't it? Aren't those yeah. legs all separate in the I metal pinned, one? I got a really small. Oh, how did I think you I pin them. those? And it, when I say pin them, I don't think they were even that big into the the leg. It was just a little divot, just enough to give it a bit more. A bit rip, more take. Just yeah. Oh, and then the other thing I did is I put like rocks and shields under the body so it was sitting on that so it was never actually really sitting on the legs oh, okay yeah because it just kept they kept falling yeah. off and yeah, yeah. no you'll horror, find working with the model. resin much much less frustrating yeah yeah and we'll get to that about some of the releases coming up which i'm not unhappy about with what they're doing but um mm. but the scorpions i was never a big oh. love in metal but anyway. oh yeah yeah i didn't we didn't get to hear your reaction <laughs> yeah. to the um swarm but yeah, I'm not sure you're going to talk about that later. Or? Oh, we can. We can run through them quickly too because I think they're, yeah, no, nah, it's cool. Also, yeah, but anyway, so I don't have any hobby, but I do need to, I will start again now that I'm back um, because I need to get that done. Although I did think too, one of the other things I would like to paint, but I don't know how, again, we don't have the rules, is they are saying that Cetra, I reckon Cetra is going to be in the game. Are they going to rebuild? Are they going to release a new version of him? I don't know. Well, they're putting a photo of... The Cetra old one, the, yeah. yeah. On. So I was actually thinking. Oh, do you think they might release that guy and then also re-release a new one later down the track? Yeah, I don't. Know. I don't think it's going to be now. So that's why I think I could paint him, but I really don't want to use the derby horses for him. So I, what I might do is have a go at trying. I have to get you, you to print them, but you know the horses <laughs> from the yeah, new yeah. stuff. I wonder how good they. They might look okay on Cetra's chariot. So I'll have to. I yeah, because those horses are, them. yeah, yeah. Derpy is a good word. <laughs> yeah, it's so weird because it just doesn't yeah. fit the back half of that model. Yeah, yeah, looks so different to the horses at the front. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Even the paint job seems to emphasize it. By the way, like yeah, looking at I that know. photo. So anyway, I might um, again. They're sort of that. So that's all for the eighth edition stuff. Oh, well, I shouldn't say eighth edition, but yeah, old world stuff. Mm. Um, and see if I can start finishing my, not finishing, but, you know, getting more variability into the stuff I've painted. So I've got some stuff to choose when that comes. But anyway, yeah, we'll see how we go. Hopefully I'll, I'll we'll be into some of that by next week when we're chatting again. Mm. Cool. Well, yeah. let's, let's get into and... stuff. Oh, that, yeah. Well, I do have one other thing, but I mean, might be, I, I might redo my hobby, my desk work environment here a bit. It's pretty clean. I have like, I've got like a big long desk. I've got my work desk, computer and everything on the left side. And then I've got another iMac, which I really just use to watch YouTube videos and do the battle reports on. That's in front of like painting stuff. Like, a, you know, I can move the keyboard away and it's just free. But all my paints are in Games Workshop paint carrying things and I have them on a stool next to me. So I can wheel them away if I'm not using them. Oh, But right. it's, it's a bit of a, I don't know, if it's a lot of room taken up. The, it's li literally the computer's the issue because the computer sits forward and it's an iMac, yeah. so it sits. It's really clean because there's nothing around it, but there's a lot of space behind it not used. So yeah. I was like, oh, I think you can. I think you can get a visa mount for the iMac. It's an older iMac, so I don't know. Um, so you can mount it onto a wall. Yep, so that would save a lot of space. Although I'm looking at the picture above my desk, it might. Well, there, my wife wants a new picture there anyway, so maybe I, maybe I can put the old world picture there. I don't think she'll like that. Uh, <laughs> or, the, or the map? The big yeah, map. the map. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> maybe. Uh, but yeah, anyway, I was thinking if I could put the iMac above that, then I could get those, yeah, those um, back to basics or something like that. Those. Mm. The painting, yeah. hobby desk, organizer type thing and have them all set up but with drawers and stuff so I can put more stuff away yeah. and make it cleaner. Um, but yeah, yeah, the back to basics is good. Oh, they are. So they are good. You just said you don't use them as much now that you were doing something else. Well, I had. Some other wall one or something. But well, I had the back. back I ha yeah, it is. It's back oh, to basics. Oh, that is as well. Okay. Ready. Yeah, yeah. So I had, I have most of them. Hmm. I, ended, I ended up, yeah, I started off with the, the yeah, the, the, the hobby organizer ones that I like spread yeah. out because they mainly had GW paints, but the more I got dropper bottles, yeah. the more I realized how space efficient the wall climbers are. Yeah, and gotcha. you can get a GW bottle one that holds yeah. the small GWs, although the contrasts and the shades don't really fit in that because it's just yeah. like slightly short. Um, uh, but the wall climbers are so space efficient because you can stack them up to three high. So, you know, in a fairly small footprint, you can get a whole lot of paints. 
Um, right. I that, that's that's why I like it. I haven't even. But it depends on your setup. Like, yeah, yeah, they're not going to be. Uh, I don't know. I'd look at them as well because I could move things around the other yeah. way. But um, no, it's really the dropper bottles where it shines because you can get so many dropper bottles yeah, sitting on right. their side and it fits really nicely. Whereas yeah, the GW bottles, one, two, you can only stack, there's only four stacks, seven wide. Whereas the droppers are like nine wide and six stacks, you know, so it's significantly yeah. more. It's annoying. Like, there's another thing, and this is more money if I want to do, which is, you know, the I'm hearing lots of good things about that war, the war gamers. Is it war? Oh, what's it called? War. The the fanatic brand coming out from War Painter or War. What's it called? Army Painter. Fucking hell, I'm joining them together. Army Painter, the Army Painter fanatic um, paint set. And it's, uh, it's, I haven't really looked into. Well, that. it's not out yet. It comes out in like two weeks or something here, mm-hmm. but all the. Yeah, you can see reviews on YouTube and stuff. Um, and they've got all that, you know, their version 2 of their contrast and it's got this massive pack you get with all these paints. And my paints are good, but I think I've got some that are really old and some that are really new. Is that really the speed, new. Is that the speed yeah, the paint? Speed that paint they, because I've got those. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah uh, the Fanatic one comes with these other effects ones and all this other stuff. Um, uh, okay. okay. And I was like, oh. Yeah, should I should I try them out to sort of have go to sort of dropper bottles or not? I don't know. Um, but mm. yeah. Anyway, that's it's not yeah. that exciting. No, to listen to, but um, yeah, look, I think um, with the old world, it's probably time to my hobby stuff's pretty clean. But I thought maybe I can make it better, you know, and just get the paints all out so they're not sitting on a chair, so to speak. Even though it's a stool, I don't really use. It's like wheels. I can wheel it around. <laughs> so yeah. I can wheel it under the desk. So it's not that <laughs> it's not that bad. But it's, but it's fairly accessible not... though, like when you need it. Like, yeah, it or is. Is it well, hard it is. to get? No, no, it's, it's accessible. But I think I could put, I think a desk set up with the, getting that computer out of the way would make it more accessible because they'd all be out, but then at the same time be away. You know, they're, you know, especially if you can have some drawers. But I usually my paintbrushes on the desk just sitting there. They're just, they're all laid down flat and stuff. But yeah, I mm. don't know. I might be able to clean it up a bit. But we'll see. That's uh, the fun stuff with hobbying, isn't it? Yeah. Procrastinating until we get all this goodness that's about to come. So let's get into that. Preparing. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, Preparing. Um, The actual website, I'll just start with that. The website actually finally got stuff on it. It's not that impressive yet still, but they've got this theoldworld.com. Yeah. And they put this new map on it and stuff, which. Yeah, the map is is, the best part of this whole website, by the way. You just have this website be a map and that's be like, cool so i didn't <laughs> dig it the only thing so this came out when you i was didn't? on holidays and i was trying to use my phone and it's a bit annoying to use on the phone um but even on the website i'm looking like it's a bit i like it it's just weird that there's other icons i still can't click you can tell like some of them are interactive and some aren't so i'm assuming they're going to keep opening them up as they add more yeah to I'm, so the, I'm assuming that the, they will open those up yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah, nah, yeah, it's good. I had to read through the empire ones. I like how they've, you know, you sort of know which are the main empire. You know, these uh, these these three kings or three emperors or whatever it is. They've got the different factions here. Yeah. So I wonder if at some point these are gonna, you know, uh, be fighting in that in the box set. Who knows? <laughs> we'll see. Oh, I think it so could happen. Yeah, I'd love it. Yeah. Nah, so yeah, but if they expand on that, it'll be cool. So um, and there's heaps of the cetera. You know, if you go right down, there's um. Yeah. It's funny, I'm reading the Nagash series and, yeah, all these cities are in that, so it's going to be uh, good to cross-reference it a bit. But I have not digested it. I've just sort of just clicked a few and read a few, but um, it's looking good. Yeah, no, um, I like some think? of them. I like it, yeah. And some of the ones in the um, the Borderlands, some of the Bretonian ones too, like there's the there's Julian the Craven, which is like mm-hmm. a, a, a really cowardly Bretonian <laughs> lord who's just like fled to the the border princes and then yeah there's a few other um lords sort of hanging around in that area that have got like checkered pasts and that type of thing that are sort of exiles so they're creating an interesting sort of um background in the in an area that hasn't really mm-hmm. had many characters developed yeah yeah before which um it's 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 and i'm cool. guessing there's going to be a lot of stuff here that we'll learn with the yeah those um arcane journals especially with the brett one but, um, you know, yeah, so yeah, there'll be a lot. The exiles and stuff. I just clicked on the Aquila, Aquila, 
Aquilina, Aquilina, how do you say that? Carolina Aquilina, daughter of Baron Carol. So this is an infamous Bretonian exile of Cassus Rock who's crusading to the land of the dead and the ire of Cetra himself. So that's oh, probably one of these ones that's, you know, pissed Cetra off and now he's on his way up. Take on the brats. But there's sort the shield uh, looks very elvenish. I thought it was an elven one because it's sort of mm. near the elven um, tour and, and rock icon oh, on the map. Yeah. Um, but no, oh, it's they've actually got... You can actually, they've actually activated the forests now as well. So, oh, like the Car- Coronus Forest just next yeah, to that yep, um, yep. icon. It's now got a little little p- description. Yeah. Nah, it feels Ooh. like I've got to go through this, but if anyone else hasn't, definitely little start Easter clicking eggs. around. Yeah. Oh, Dragon Falls, a little <laughs> rain, mountain. You can click on that now as well. Yeah, they're just slowly opening it up, which is kind of, yeah. yeah uh, oh, so I'm excited for the new lore. I'm going to buy all the books this time, like we said, like in terms of the, the lore books too, because I think they're the novels, so, yeah, which I didn't oh, really do yeah. a lot, you know, years ago. So No, I didn't. I didn't. Yeah. And I, I guess it was more when I was listening to the Horace Hersey novels, I realized yeah. it is actually, it really helps you get on top of the lore. So I think so, I will and- make more, more of an effort to do that. Uh, yeah, oh, well. and I mean, in our defence, was Black Library that good back then? You know, I feel like mm. they're really hitting strides now, whereas back yeah. then it probably wasn't. Like, especially yeah. sixth edition and stuff. Yeah, it was yeah. That, the novels are quite yeah, you know. Uh, cool. Okay, well, let's get on with some. I don't even know what order, man. You want to go in? Because I was starting with, I mean, the law ones. I'd rather just start with what's coming, and then we'll just go from there if you want. <laughs> Is that cool? As in, well, releases? what's coming is probably the, you know, what's the word? Um, probably the first one to come out, isn't it? Compared to last week? Uh, I don't know. Like, I thought the law ones came out just after what you and Andrew did. And then, was it? I don't even know. I got, there was just articles coming out left, right and center. Oh, wait. Oh, that's right. We did that last week. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then there was law, law. I think the laws came yeah, out maybe, maybe after sort of yeah. hinted at what was coming in the Brett list and then we got the actual more specifics on what was coming, like and the date. That was the big thing, I guess, with the Sunday preview, prepare to enter the world of legends. So that was like the New Year's Day or the last day of the year, something um, release. So, I mean, we don't need to go through, because you, you and Andrew went through a lot of this, hey? Um, yeah. Yeah, but you can take, say, do your take on it. Oh, yeah. Look, I mean, the, we already saw the starter box or whatever they're called. What are they called? <laughs> Intro boxes. Um, I think they're a good way to get, um, they, like I said, I think I already said this, like they're a great way to just get the core and be done with it, which is what I like. The issue is if you've already got the core, you just have to decide if you want to spend the money, I guess, um, to, to get that, you know, whatever it is, at least in Tomb King's case, the dragon, because it doesn't sound like it's released separately, at least yet. Whereas you, as a Bretonian player, you get your peg guy separate by the look of it. Mm, yeah. Yeah, I think, I think we do. Yeah, yeah so you've, those, you've got no here. reason to buy the... Bretonian one, for example, you know, like you as a Bretonian player, really. Oh, like personally, yeah. Unless they price it well enough that if you're buying the rule book and the peg guy, and it's only an extra hundred dollars to buy the entire box, you might as well just buy the box. Yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> no, that's a good point. Yeah, yeah. Um, Which depends. I guess you do the maths on. Yeah. yeah. See, to me, it's ironic. If the dragon was separate, I would probably personally consider buying. The dragon, and then buy the prep box because then I'm not going to do Bretonians yet, but I will at some point, and that's such mm. good value. And I, I like the idea of just buying core in one go, done, and just put it away, <laughs> and I've got it when I want to, you know, start it again. Um, but yeah, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, you're totally good. Yeah, no, they're cool. Um, and I, I mean, I've, I've loved, I've loved what I've seen with the books, man. I just think it's very heresy, obviously related in terms of the different. Um, Raven Horde's Force of Fantasy. Yeah, isn't it? So, yeah. yeah, it's very much, yeah, like Lord of the Rings, yeah, heresy specialist game style. It um, opens them up. I, mean, I don't in. know if they will, but if this is what stops them once AOA, once Skaven's redone, once, you know, Lizardman's sort of already de- redone in AOS, that sort of stuff, what stops them down the track, like in, say, two years' time going, bang, here's another one, some other weird name, and he's, you know, Lizardman, Skaven, Vamps. Like, do you think they would do that or do you think they'd wait for a second edition and just keep these two books and expand on them? 
Oh, that's a good question. It depends how long the edition goes for and how successful it is. I, I can't imagine they'll do it before a second edition, I guess. Mm. I'd love to see them put out in a book. It's annoying because they've called it Forces of Evil, Forces of Good, which I don't think any of us probably liked, really. Like, you know, when they no. first did that and then they reject, like, sort of redacted it and now it's five yeah. years. So, yeah. yeah, that's what I said last week. I, I would have been quite happy with them just calling it Forces of Fantasy and Ravening Hills without... Yeah, because then you could have done what I'm saying too. There's less, you just bring out more factions, bang. You just call it something else, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Yeah. No, but I like it. I mean, you buy, it's cool to be able to buy, and I know that we'll get into this, the Arcane Journals will add more to it, but I feel like the Arcane Journals aren't going to add like, well, I mean, this might change over time. And then it's not like if I don't add the Bretonian one, I'm going to know what Bretonians do because I've got the book. Like I've got the, Forces of Fantasy book, so I know what yeah. sort of units are in it and what magic they can use and all that. And there's a little bit extra in the Arcane Journal, but I, I don't. It's not a heap of content to consume. Whereas the old way, when you had like whatever it was, fourteen army books. I mean, did you ever yeah. buy every army book? No, not even close. Yeah. I only bought the army's books that I played. Did you? Yeah. Okay. So I used to buy a investment. couple. Yeah, I used to buy a couple of them. If I liked them, I thought, oh, I might get them later, but I never bought all of them. Whereas at least yeah, now, you would never I'm... buy them unless you were intending to play them or yeah. something, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. So, so it was a significant investment. You only get one army. <laughs> yeah. Whereas, yeah. yeah. And now I get all of it without having to spend all that and I get it up front almost. So I think it's good. I think it's good. Um, but I love the Arcane Journal as well because it just gives them so much freedom to go, oh, like new models, a few new little cool things. And obviously, just you don't have to wait. Um, every army's getting everything in those, uh, what are they called? The, you know, the main sort of force of fantasy ravening hordes, but then they're going to get their Arcane Journal in whatever, six months' time, 12 months' time. So everyone's yeah. sort of getting stuff, you know what I mean, which is cool. And they don't have to sit around and wait for four years for an army book. Yeah, and I and I'd like to think that the Arcane Journal doesn't give you an increased power level necessarily. It more yeah, just well, gives you more options, I yeah. would hope. You know, yeah, I mean, it gives you special yeah. characters. It gives you different list option builds, but not necessarily something you have to take or obliged to do. Yeah, because I can't imagine it's not going to tweak the core special rules of an army. You know what I mean? Like it's not going to turn around and say, "Well, orcs no longer do." animosity they do this other thing you know like it's not gonna, that's all going to be in the main book so but at least how i would pick it up on it so no i think it's cool um i've got no complaints i know some people have sort of complained about the number of books but oh, i don't know this is a book game this is how they're going to make money i think because there's so many people who already have armies they're not yeah gonna, they're not going to pay that's for miniatures right. straight away so that's right we're well, not even releasing the miniatures Colin. yeah we're well, releasing two kings and Bretonia, yeah. that's it <laughs> Yeah, well, yeah, we've got an answer, don't we? There's no orcs. If you want to play no. orcs, have fun finding them. Island Miniatures just brought out a new range, so there you go. Um, oh, such a good range. <laughs> such a good range. Yeah. You, you, well, literally, that's it, though. Like, you know, you make, that's a joke, but at the same time, that mm. is yeah, I know. either it's you pay through those on eBay but... for classic minis that yeah. are like hugely expensive, mm. or you just go to a 3D print service and yep. get a, a really modern design that's Probably looks better than the original middle hammer or old hammer stuff, anyway. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's totally still... bizarre. I don't overly get it, but I sort of get it because the logistics of you know bringing it all out at one go. But it's just crazy, isn't it? It's just like man. Yeah, no, I, I understand the limitations of what they're trying to do, but at yeah. the same time, especially with the total war crowd, if you're trying to get them to come in and play, and then you go, I mean, oh, it's no. just. Reality is we don't we don't have we don't sell any not. dwarves. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's, like... it's not. It's just not. Tar- it's targeted at the people who have the game at the moment. It's, it's just, it is. It is. Isn't it? it? Is. Like it's... I think obviously this is yeah. They're just starting off, and yeah. you know they've got to they've got to start somewhere. And as the year progresses, that'll definitely get better. Yeah, hundred um, percent. Yeah, but yeah, it is at the moment. It just feels bizarre, and that's why I'm not a big complainer about like we'll get into about the types of things they're bringing back and some, you know, they've gone back to metal with some of them, obviously, because they're not going to do fine cast. Um, it is what it is. No, because I just know that, look, if this game works, which it's going to be massively successful, I think, I think they'll, we'll just see them slowly move through and get rid of them. That's like what I would imagine they would do. They'll 
they'll bring out plastics for everything, like they're doing in Heresy. As it gets bigger and bigger, more stuff comes out in plastic. So anyway, we'll see. Yeah, so the Jews Potentially. <clears throat> I, I feel like that would be a lot, very long-term oh, yeah. approach. Yeah. You know, that would be at least one more edition before. Gotcha. We, like, they're, they're not going to revisit the Dream Kings or the Bretts after these no. releases. I can't see no. for the foreseeable future. The ages, um, I think, yeah. So, yeah, it would be five, six years in the future before they probably can see that. Well, sorry, what I would probably say is it. they might yeah. do some of those metal ones. You know what I mean? They might go through and – I mean, they, will, they just did it with the swarms. You know, there's, a, there's an example. That's a resin kit. I'm pretty sure it's mm. resin. Um, so they've taken some old, which is weird. I don't know why they've chosen that one, but they've, ta- they've taken an old metal sculpt and turned it into a new resin, like a totally redesigned resin kit. Completely redesigned it, yeah. yeah. So, I mean, the old one was pretty <clears throat> flat. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> like it was pretty <laughs> unremarkable. So yeah, and this one is pretty... Uh, like swarms are good, so people have a reason to use them, but yeah, we'll them. find yeah. that out. Anyway, it's, yeah, the peg knights are there. I mean, they sort of hold up, but not compared to the site, the awesomeness of... Wait, so, wait, hold on, which are you, are you oh, reading? Oh, sorry, I'm going through which the Sunday preview through? one. Oh, okay. So that one we haven't gone through on the podcast, <clears throat> by the way. No, I know. Yeah. 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 But I mean, it's got yeah, yeah. most of the stuff that's you got Most of the stuff that through. Andrew and I covered. Yeah. But yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. So we're on the same page. Is there any new stuff that do you think it's added to? Mm-hmm. Like that wasn't you guys hadn't covered in terms of the stuff that's coming in it? Like everything. Well, we didn't know what the, what the specific releases were going to be. Ah, so okay. this whole article oh, yeah. is still news to us in a way. Right, yeah, um, okay. Because, you know, yeah, the, the ground knights are here. You know, they've got boxes, boxes of three of those. Um, I still feel metal. like they've missed some things, though, didn't they? Uh, anyway, no, we'll get through there. Yeah, yeah. so we'll, get we'll, down there. we'll just keep going. Yeah, yeah. like so they've, got, they've got the battle pilgrims and the yeah. ground relic way. Um, uh, so, wait, so, so I think it's a kit of 12 metal pilgrims. Mm. How did they used to come? Because you obviously have them. Uh, it was a blister think, packs. Yeah, it's blisters, blisters of three. Ah, and then okay. yeah. the box, there was, you could buy the Regrow Relic kit. Right. Uh, I think, well, it says on here the kit comes with six Battle Pilgrims and the Relic Way, and I'm yeah. pretty sure originally that's how it came as well. Yeah, okay, so they just but basically just that, repackaged that one. They repackaged it, but the blisters they've combined into yeah. 12 rather than three. Oh, gotcha. And you get bit, doubles of each one or it's something. It's a bit harsh. Um, sorry? You get three of which are included twice. Okay, three of which are included twice. Okay. Okay, so see, so yeah, this is there's 12. nine different models yeah, and then okay. three doubles in that. So <clears> you get to twelve. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Interesting. Um yeah, that's that's the thing though. Like you end up buying sets of twelve. So if you need a specific number and you just you know, you I mean, want the, Yeah. <clears throat> you want twenty one and then you have to buy three. <laughs> It's a weird number, obviously, because the metal and stuff. But I mean, you can see that like, they've done that everywhere where they've they give you're paying less per miniature, but you have to pay more because <laughs> you've got to buy. You got to buy. I don't know. Well, we haven't know. seen the prices. We may so. be paying more per miniature and paying more per box. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just wait and see. So, yeah, we have rumors on some of these <laughs> things. We can talk about that. I guess, yeah, but, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll get yeah. to. Uh, yeah, we probably should bring that up at some point yeah the, the image um but yeah just as a general outline then yeah mounted yeoman again the medals are coming back with the yeoman those are really collectible though. those have been hard to find for a yeah. while yeah. i've got a big stack of them but they are <laughs> yeah very lovely models and you know i'm quite happy to see them back you know mm. i think they were they're one of my favorite sort of like old-fashioned sculpts from the brett line so you said um, on your edition. pod on pod last week, I think it was where you said your um is mostly a fifth edition one. Yeah. But how much can you see yourself? Um, because I guess I guess you have gone through editions because it was a fifth and a sixth, and it was sixth, but in seventh and then sixth and eighth, so things changed in terms of power level and stuff. But have you not really gone? Oh crap! You know, I need to really run. I don't know. You know, three buses of realm knights and i don't have enough like do you f- see yourself going back and visiting and buying more of these things or you just already have so many that if for some reason mounted yeoman you need you know bloody i don't know three more units of five 
Do you have that or do you end up having Yes, to I have that. Yeah, okay, right, yeah, so you're not buying anything still. Okay. Right, okay. okay. Um, and the Mount of, yeah, these Mount of Yeoman are 5th edition Mount of Yeoman, by the way. Like, oh, yeah, that's I what I mean. Like, I know that, but ones. I just I wasn't sure if they're, you know, they're still. It, yeah. You've got everything you need, but you don't have enough if you have to double that type of thing, but you've got a fair bit there. I've got a fair bit there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> cool. Um, but, and, you know, I've, I've gone to the effort of adapting things, like the questing knights, like they're on fifth ed horses um, mm, mm. and they, they work. Okay. Uh, interestingly, though, when we see it in this list and there's no sign of Mount of Questing Knights. Uh, no, yes. Because mm. how did you – so they were a separate pack because the Questing Knights are the – which, which ones are they? They're the dudes who don't have like helmets. Double and stuff handed or swords. Or yeah, double, no. oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So are you is this a, is this is this your take? Is it that they're gonna some new models are gonna come out or? Oh no, I was just, I, don't know. I was just wondering why they're not in this <laughs> list. <laughs> There's things that are missing in. Oh yeah, it's weird. I don't know because I suspect they'll release them later. I don't think they would replace them because those are really well. You know, they're actually really good models. They're really detailed. Um, but like the damsel's really not, well not the damsel, the, the unicorn's not in this oh. list either. True. And we know it's yeah. coming. Yeah, where's, <laughs> where's the unicorn? Well, when I say we know it's coming, we know it's coming, but we don't know when. Because yeah, we don't, know I don't when. even know if it yeah. is coming in the first week. Um, but we do know pretty sure it's in the Arcane Journal because we've seen a picture of it in the rule thing, which we should get to. Yeah, which we'll get to. Um, no, that's, that's, that's a good point, actually. Yeah, the unicorn's not there either. Mm. So I just, I don't know if this is... So I don't think any of these articles can ever be read as into their completeness because I just don't think they, they've written that We have learned <laughs> from weeks and weeks of yeah. trying to sift through the tea leaves so that it's you just can't read into it too heavily. No. And then they've got the handmaiden here. And so mm. this is – was this new and I just missed it or what, but it's got different options for head and both hands? Hands? Yeah, I don't remember that. Oh, okay, no. cool. okay, I don't think they've ever, I don't think they've ever mentioned that there was. Or well, maybe mm. they did, but I don't remember that. Um, but yeah. this is the only picture of both hands. I've seen, hey, yeah. So, yeah, this is the only picture we've seen. Mm. So, okay, cool. Well, that's gonna be. I want to see the different options. She is large on that twenty-five mil base, by the way. She mm. really takes up that base. You know what's interesting, actually, because we have. I mean, you know, obviously we're going what we're going pre-order on the six. It says it right at the top here. Um, does it actually say when well, we know? Well, we'll just say it's the 20th of January. We'll get into that. We'll get into the gripes of that in a minute. But um, for most of the people in the world, it's the 20th of January when everything, some of these stuff popping out. Games Workshop have been really good at getting this stuff to painters pre, like community painters, and then starting to dribble it out. So I think we might be seeing in the next week or two, you know, people. Community painters, you know, good Instagrammers showing some of their versions of some of these, which would be pretty cool. Oh, really? Because mm, we've only seen Ooh. these shots, basically, you know. Um, yeah, we have, yeah. You know, every Bretonian we've seen is in this, I can't remember the bloody thingy, but it's the black and red colour scheme, whatever, you know, whatever. Uh, who's the baron of that? I don't even know. What's the law around the black and red? The black and red? Yeah. You know? <laughs> I don't know. No. Really? <laughs> okay, <right. laughs> I can't remember. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I don't so know what they ever said. I oh they haven't. Okay. Um I would yeah, I think we're gonna be seeing some options and some different paint jobs coming out in the next week or so, I reckon. Cause yeah, they do usually for the other games in AOS, you usually see them pop up and then you see it. It's yeah, usually okay. after pre order, but before I think it is anyway, before you can actually get it, you know. Mm, okay. Interesting. That'd and, be cool. I would look forward to that. I mean, because yeah, mini wargaming you... did a tour of their bunker the other day. I think we were talking about, it, and now they're like, "Well, we can't show you down here because certain thing is being done down there." <laughs> so they're, oh, I'm pretty sure they got oh. full old world games getting prepped. Yeah, because you know, so it would take a while that. to paint those up. Yeah, exactly. So, so yeah, so. maybe they're already doing it. Yeah. I would be keen to see yeah different painters um, yeah, approaches to probably. those handmaidens, especially the one on the unicorn. Yeah, um, yeah, 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 for sure. Um. um then we've also we've got the Base BSB. And foot and, yep, the two on versions. The foot, on the foot. Um, yeah. um, this questing night. I mean, yeah, you've got to get that guy though. Night. So, sure, again, so are you going to get any of these? Fine. I'm trying to push you to buy figures here. Are you? <laughs> are you going to get any of these? Even just for painting purposes? Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah maybe the questing night. Yeah. Um, he comes with options too, apparently. 
Oh, so I must have missed Bearhead. that one too. Me too. Oh, actually, I did. I think we might. Hmm, why do I thought we knew that? But maybe we didn't. I don't know. That would, yeah. I mean, this, this, some of these I would buy just to, maybe not the initial release, obviously, because there's a lot to buy, but yeah. they're cool. Yeah, I think the initial is. release, I'm mainly going to stick with the books because it's going to yeah. add up quite a bit. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I may look at buying them later. Um, then there's a die set and the card, reference I, cards. I love that they're bringing cards. I was really a bit worried that, um, I mean, Horace Heresy does have cards as well, but obviously I know, 40K and that don't need it as much, if you know what I mean. Most of the time, um, although 40k does with all their tactical cards and crap. Um, but with Warhammer, just the amount of magic items and spells, I really didn't like that six didn't have them, if you know what I mean. Like, I liked having the physical cards because I like seeing them on the table, it's just easier. Obviously, people made their own. Um, that was one spell of spell cards, yeah, yeah, just spell cards at least. Magic item yeah. cards, mm, it's, it's sort of, a, it, it's going to be good in the initial phases but you probably won't use them as much i'd imagine um yeah yeah the, you know, the type of thing that you get and they're sort of useful initially but then you, as you get to know the game better maybe i mean spell cards are always useful but um I i'd almost rather cards. see spell cards and then like i mean it's probably better to be tokens but like you know just like those like markers you know plus one to hit plus one minus one to, that type of stuff where you can just leave markers around but i guess most of the time with the way that these spells seem to work you just put the spell there because you can't double buff things by the look of it and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. It no. depends how how much diversity there is in what the spells do, though, as well. Yeah. You know? um, so how feasible that'd be? Hmm. I just hope these bloody spell cards, though, are actually not. You know, I know they'll probably get sold out, but I hope they keep them. Like it was so hard to get eighth edition ones after a while. You know, like an army would come out and then they'd be sold out, and you'd never get them again. Like the spell cards, so yeah. Hopefully that's not the case. Oh, I suspect that could happen. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anyway, the dice are probably going to be sitting around. The poor retailers. I mean, we've seen some of the price of these. We'll get into them. These dice are made with gold, apparently. Um, so yeah. Anyway, I'm probably going to be dumb and buy some, but we'll see how we go. Maybe if they're how still much sitting around. Like, uh, so. Uh, Australian, the 70? rumor is like seventy something dollars for sixteen dice. So, uh, no, it's eighteen dice. Is that eighteen and then a scatter and a artillery? Or is that eighteen? Yeah. Okay, so it's like twenty all up. Oh. Yeah, it is twenty because you can see there's five, but it'd be four. Yep, it'd be twenty dice. Okay. Mm, anyway, we'll okay. see. We'll see how dumb I am when they come out. Or you know what's going to happen? You'll go into the store, everything's sold out but the dice, and then you're going to go, oh, fuck, I'll buy the dice then. Oh, I came all the way here. I might as well yes. come home with something. Yes. That's what's going to happen. Just a anyway. grudge purchase. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Uh, anyway, we, and then, yeah, yep. Arcane Journals, they're coming out day one as well for both armies, which is awesome. Um, mm -hmm. I'm really keen yeah. to actually see, I think – with, sorry, just to jump back to the Brett's one, and you probably you might have talked about this a little bit with Andrew, I don't know. Um, but I feel like we sort of knew a little bit about um, – you can sort of guess what these ones are a little bit more with the Brett's, like in terms of the Errantry Crusades and then this – what do they call it? Exiled Knights. The Exiled to have like well, things We don't know, I, I guess, but it's got cannon. It's got that bombard probably. Yeah, we saw a bit of a leak about it, that it had a, a bombard and um, some – or was it some exiled brigands, I think, yeah. as well, which I was I'm very intrigued. <laughs> very intrigued to find out with that. Mm. I don't think I would have guessed exile, by the way. Like that no. when they, when I first read that a month or two ago, I was like, what is what is exile? What does this mean? Um uh Aaron Trees, yeah, really classic. And yeah, there was an Aaron Tree war list yeah, in, in Six Ed Storm yeah. Chaos as well. Yeah, so it um, sort of felt like I knew them, but these other ones and that maybe I'd learn more if I actually get through all the <laughs> the Cetra novels and stuff. But um, oh, sorry, the Nagash right. novels. But so you don't know, yeah? Because me and well, Andrew were like, oh, well, I don't I know. know. You wait till Gummo gets <laughs> we back. We were both like, like yeah, we were um, both like, oh wait, we'll ask, we'll ask Gummo when he. <laughs> well, I mean, the more trick ones, obviously the leech leech priest ones. But I mean, I guess what I don't totally get is what would make them massively different unless you know how there was those rumors around like the Sand Mummy bloody release and stuff like that. Yeah, like, I wonder yeah. if there's something like that. That, but I mean, oh, they wouldn't. No, they wouldn't release this book with new units because they would bring them out. So, 
it's just going to be a different composition, I guess, um, which might be more magic oh, sort of yeah. leech. There may be new units. I mean, it seems we're a lot of rules for things that you can't buy models for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so okay, who knows? Yeah. That's a good point. And then the Because like, so. they are releasing a Bombard for the Bretonians. Like, yeah, oh, yeah. There no. ain't no Bombard being released. Yeah, no, no. Yeah, you're right. So, mm, okay, interesting. No, I don't know. So, yeah, I'll love to do some more reading up. I mean, I only saw that last week when it came up. I went, oh, crap, I'll do a bit of a search. Like if you search the Mortuary Cult, I mean, they're – that's obviously the guys that, um, you know, came up with this whole way to extend the life and then obviously, is you know, um, Nagash screwed it all around so now they're undead instead of actually living forever. You know, they're stuck in the middle, so to speak. Um, but the new car and royal hosts, I don't know, is that going to be more like, oh, I don't know, man, I have no idea what what it will be. It's probably obviously still in the background law, but, or is it, you know, is it, being introduced because of this new time period, you know. So maybe yeah, there's maybe. a lot of people who don't oh. know. So I, I can't wait to read the law. Mm. Can't wait to find out more. Because you know we had sort of like a construct list in that sixth or storm of chaos or whatever. Um, I was thinking maybe that it's not so much constructs, but a lot more sharpty because the royal because obviously the, the sharpty is the the main royal guard and stuff of the king priest and stuff like that. So okay. it'd be cool if it sort of skews more to that and not as much magic-y stuff or something. And then you've got the other ones that are a bit more, I don't know, you know, magic raising type stuff. Who knows? Okay. Yeah. No, no I'm, idea. I'm super keen to, yeah, really get into law for the yeah. old world. Much yeah. more so. So Definitely. thing with the thing for me with the end times, I never got on board with it. I never read any of the books. Yeah. I wasn't interested. Because for me, I knew it was because they were ending Warhammer. Right, <laughs> and I was like, okay. I'm not even going to acknowledge out. this law works. Yeah. Yep. Oh, well, sort of, I wasn't just that. And then, like, just like halfway, like, it was pretty clear that that, yes. that was their yeah, plan, okay. right? Yeah. And I was kind of like, I don't, I don't like this. Sorry. <laughs> I don't read any of it. Whereas this, I, I feel super keen to, to really get into and, you know, yeah, read the books and read all the fluff and, um, I was listening to uh, Stu's from uh, Miniature Realms of his. his not is it miniature realms? He's, uh, he's, he's, you know, he's one of the painter, Instagrammer, YouTuber guy. Um, he in their Christmas Q and A one because I downloaded it to listen to on the plane. He was saying he's reading the End Times novels and they're coming out. That's in one of these pre orders. Yeah, it? so, it's yeah, coming out again. Yeah, I never read those novels. I only read the actual End Time book. You know, the actual End Times book that like Glocken and stuff. But the novels, he said. He did the same thing. He's like, I've never really liked it because now that I know, now that I know it, where it's sort of grounded and positioned, and that there is an old world game, I'm more keen to learn about the end times because I don't care that it blows up. But I'm like, I I get that, oh, yeah. you know, get that psychology of like, well, they can blow it up because I've already got the game still here, you know, and 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 then I think Val said on his their podcast he's like oh actually makes me want to actually learn more about the aos's <laughs> law because it's not interfering with my game's law like it hasn't because my game's here i've got law which i get the psychology of that yeah it's i get a bit that. childish in a way but i it I, is it's pretty immature it. <laughs> but no i agree yeah <laughs> yeah because i'm like that if, if yeah if i don't get to play i'm not <laughs> i'm not acknowledging yours which is what <laughs> i've done with aos i've followed any of their stuff like in terms of law it was all too weird um but yeah yeah you know um no i get it man i get it i'm gonna get into the law as i said so yeah the tomb guard release this sort of goes back oh, to that point yeah. like I mean, they're awesome figures, 20, I think that's a good box set, you know. I mean, it's probably going to be pricey, but, um, but my issue is I already had mm, three boxes. Maybe. <laughs> or did I have two? I can't remember. Um, yeah. And without knowing day one, do I need hordes or do I just need a unit of 20? It's a bit hard to know if it's worth me buying them. Like if I know they're going to hang around on the shelf, I wouldn't buy them. If I think they're going to get bought out and won't be able to get them for a year, I probably would buy a box, you know. Yeah. They actually look pretty good on the 25s, by the way. <clears throat> mm, no, they're, well, they're hard to rank up on 20s. So they bash into each other and stuff. So I'd probably, yeah. I'd, I'd, mm. they, they, look like they, would, they look like they would. They look like they're a natural fit for 25s. Yeah. And they're actually, so like, I don't know, like other people have done this, although it is pricey, is you can use bits of these or even mix them in with the skellies if you want to make your skellies look a bit more tomb king, like, like not use the old skellies as much. 
You know what I mean? Oh, like, just give them a bit more theme. Like yeah, a bit more sort of Egyptian and theme. not so just hacked from the vamp skellies. Like you could probably do a bit of modeling or dumbing down of the tomb mm. kings and use them as skeletons and use normal tomb kings as tomb kings. You know, like you could do some work around that. Uh, but obviously it depends on how pricey it is to buy lots of boxes of them, you know. So, yeah. Yeah, no, yeah, they're yeah. great figures. Although I just if you, if, they're good in the game. If the box is 20 and you only need 30, then you'll have 10 left over that you could yeah. probably put him in the skeletons. Who knows? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, the stalkers, I've got three of each of these at least, I think. So this thing, like, I think that's enough to get going and see what you need. But then after that, you know, I might have to start thinking about getting more of these depending on what, you know, what, what I need. Not so much, I don't just do it for competitive reasons, but at the same time, so you want to, you need, you need to have the options in your collection, I think. Um, Necro Sphinx, I mean, these are good figures. This is the thing, the Tomb Kings had good plastics, so it makes sense that just coming back, you know. I think everyone, you know, thinks the Necro Sphinx and the War Sphinx were good models, so to speak. It just, um, you just didn't see them a lot, depending on, like, the poor old 8th edition. They just, you know, just get shot off. So that's the problem. So yeah. that little chat, that little... Um, on the Necro Sphinx guy, the well, both of them, the Tomb King there, that's my Tomb King that's in the chariot now, like the one I did the other week. Oh, right, right. Yeah. So he's up, he's mounted up on a chariot. Okay. Yeah. So I've just, I didn't put that, I don't know what, see that thing under his leg? I don't know what it is. Is yeah, it like scarabules? I didn't use it. I just mounted it on a little skull and, and just, well, I did, I did put a dab of super glue so I can get him off the chariot later. I was going to magnetize it and all that. I went, oh, fuck it. Can't be asked. So that's just a dab of super glue. Who put him on? Um, but I'll see how I go. You know, like depending on if I need to leave him in there because I got two of him, obviously because I got two of these guys. So I can um, I just paint up another one, I guess, for being on the Cameron War Sphinx. Um, yeah, and then the Setra of the Imperishable, which we already talked about. Like the, I mean, it's not that impressive chariot, but it looks just not great with those silly horses. So. I was hoping, because yeah. I've got this guy, I was hoping, um, I was going to start painting him up anyway just for the sake of it, but now that I see that he's definitely in the game and they haven't released a new version yet, you know, it might be a good modelling opportunity, you know, just to put some different horses on there, especially yeah. some of those horses that are, there look... that are sort of really dynamic, you know. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I think you can get much better horses than those. And, yeah, yeah. as yeah, I think yeah, the guy at the back. It's so it's a completely more modern design and style. Yeah, the only thing though, you know, the horses. I'm skipping ahead here, but the Tomb King, the the other guy down the bottom, that oh, the we new first one. saw the one that we saw at the original. Old, yeah, whatever it was. oh, the original release back in <clears throat> May, was it? Yeah, yeah. May. Yeah, Do you, that's not Setra, is it? I don't know. Like, it's, I don't know. Just something about mm. some of the outfit. Like his collar thing looks similar. Well, I don't know. He's sim- well, he's, um, you know, I don't know. He's sculpted as a, as a tomb king. I was wondering like. Like Lord Guy, but. I could, if he comes out, I could get him and put him on Cetra's chair instead of. Because the, the other Cetra's okay, but he's, they're just not very big and impressive compared to some of the newer stuff. And definitely won't be compared to. This guy's going to be bigger than the other Cetra, I reckon, when you actually put them next to each other. Yeah, all right, he will be. <laughs> so, Mark, is it better to get this Tomb King? Because I don't really need another Tomb King, you know what I mean? Like in terms of just a Tomb King because I have like three of them. Um, I wonder if it's worth using him as Cetra, you know, and putting him on the chariot with better horses and just using the chariot, you know. Um, he would fit knows? there. Yeah, yeah I, think he would. I think he would. Yeah. So. He'd fit there totally. I mean, if you wanted to, you could give him <clears> that <throat> staff, I guess, or... Mm. Yeah, you could do some things. Or you could just keep it as whatever he's got. Yeah. And just, ma- I mean, I'd probably magnetize that one. You could put ETH1 or something. Who yeah. Knows? Yeah, so that's cool. Um, we're getting that weird skinny leech priest. He's so small. Um, he's going to be better in metal. In fine cast, he's just horrendous to work with. So I don't, yeah. <laughs> I never painted him. So I think he, yeah. I don't know. I think the one I had was just crap. All the staff was crap. Oh, I don't know what happened. Um, so I've never oh, really? used him. Yeah. Right, right. Um, yeah, one of the worst figures be they ever brought out, I reckon. Um, the Sharpty, though, were interesting because I actually ended up with a decent set of fine cast bow archer ones. I'd never had the uh, Halberd guys. Um, I ordered a set. I think I talked about this ages ago. I ordered a set of Halberd ones when 
um, or whatever, not halberds, but you know, whatever they are, the, the hand weapon ones. Um, when Tomb Kings got discontinued and I only opened them at the beginning of the year and, yeah, and their archers, yeah. even though the box says like uh, two hand uh, weapons. And it's like, how long ago is that? It's eight years later. And so I was like, oh, I'm not even going to talk to Games Workshop about this. <laughs> Although maybe I should now that they're re-releasing them in metal because I could go, well, you sent me the wrong fine cast ones. I'll have them in metal, thanks. Yeah, the eight years ago. Ones. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, anyway. Um, I think they'll hold up as metal better. Like I think the fi- the models were okay, um, but the fine cast part just let them down. So I think maybe they might turn out to be much better, um, just just being metal, you know. So we will see. Mm. It's just weird. It yeah. is weird going back to metal, I tell because mm. I'm not a big fan of it overall. Just I, I just find it chips and stuff. Um, but yeah, I yeah, no, you need to use, <clears throat> yeah, you need to well prime it thoroughly. Mm much as you can so, <laughs> anyway someone's someone's got to pin it which is very frustrating yeah <clears throat> and i don't mind it for these sort of where you don't have a lot of them i'm not a mass i don't know I, just, I guess the other thing is doing a proper varnish as well helps a lot yep no totally but yeah, not to do that but you i've know, stopped do var- i don't matte varnish any of my plastics because i just haven't had issues you don't with need, it. yeah i don't need to do so much the plastic but the mm. metal ones and yeah doing, totally have to. and the gloss is much you know more mm. resilient than the matte i know one. but okay. so you do yeah, but you combine it, so you go oh, gloss yeah, yeah, and, then, and the, then matte on the, the top. top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, might have to just end up doing that, which makes sense. Uh, Tomb King coming out. The Battle Stand Brow, I mean, I've talked to you guys about this. I mean, you guys already talked about him. I, I like it. I mean, well, I'm briefly. not. I think he's a little bit derpy, the guy in the bottom. <laughs> what, the way he's, the way he's hunched just over? Just the stuff, yeah, but maybe that'll help. <laughs> he won't be too big. Um, but I don't really have a good... I converted again. You, Tomb Card and Tomb Kings and all that—they have a lot of extras. So, you know, like my Necro. What's the dude with a the whip? There's a uh, kind of in eighth. There was a dude who. He's the guy that like made the constructs go better, um, and he had like a whip and stuff. And he's like, I just made one of know. him, and then I've made like two different um, like heralds on foot. Um, just with big banners and stuff, and they're just all plastic. They're all, you know, converted from Tomb Guard slash something else added in, you know. Um, so I probably don't need these guys, but I do like his banner. Um, so I'll probably get him, but I won't need to get him straight away. I do love the um, – oh, he's not in – see, he's not in this article. I do like the the em- emissary of – Cetera, what's his name? Nakaf, Naraf, Nakaf. Oh, yeah, name? he's not in this article. Yeah, that one I'm going to get, which I think you guys talked about last week anyway. Yeah, he looks awesome, so I'll mm-hmm. definitely try to get him. Um, yeah, I thought you'd like him. Yeah, he looks cool. And I'm just dumb. I didn't realise. Yeah, he is a special character. He has to be. And ironically, he's in WAP. Right. Is he? Yeah, there's a – so that's kind of in weird. WAP? Yeah. Someone posted it today, I think, well, maybe today or yesterday, oh. I saw it in a Discord channel. I was like, oh, is it? I didn't go and look, but they've taken a screenshot of the um, what he is in WAP, because so I, I don't think he's in the actual army book, as far as I know, so like the 8th edition one. <clears throat> it's a new? Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Not that I know of, so I have to go and look at him up. Yeah. Now, these tomb swarms are interesting because I covered it a little bit. They've got the... Yeah, they're bringing back. I guess this is the first metal thing they're replacing with resin, not just bring back old metal stuff. Um, uh, I don't know. I yeah. don't know the logic behind why the swarm and not, but you know. At the yeah, same I know. Time, it seems it does seem a bit arbitrary, doesn't it? That they mm. just plucked out. Yeah, we'll do a new one of this. Unless I don't know. Unless we'll see some cool rules on swarms in the new version. I don't know. I I actually think though. That there might be some, I don't know, we'll see. If you paint them right, you could almost have the smaller swarms behind these ones in a sort of what, sort of like rising up. You know, the other ones yeah. down the bottom and the ones in the front are coming up. I don't know. It would look different, but I think with the right paint job, it might not look too stupid. Um, yeah. And what was the other thing you could do? Would it, I mean, because these things look really tall. Yeah. Yeah. Really high up. Could you not even just like take off? Like the top bit oh, yeah, or the top yeah, third, and then to stick it yeah. on the old swarm yeah, yeah, base, yeah, and then yeah, have that yeah. rising out of that part. Yep, yep, yep. And just and then maybe put some of the old scarabs to come where you cut off the top, mm. and yeah. So I'd do that if it like it's probably you know if we find that the best way to play is like I don't know, you know, a unit of six, you know, three by three or something like that. Um, 
because I've got like, I don't know, five or six bases of the old ones, that would be a cool way to do it, I think. Um, so I might look at that. Uh, yeah, then Tomb Kings get obviously their dice. I actually, actually don't mind these dice. They look pretty cool, just that. Because I've been after a bony-looking dice um, or a sandy-looking dice, and I've never really yeah. got one that I liked. I'm not, oh, okay. <laughs> not keen on the price, so we'll just see what happens. Yeah, it's a lot of money to spend on dice. It is. And my other dice work fine, so and we'll see. Yeah, buying other stuff. <laughs> Ridiculous. Um, we're getting... We're getting, um, like I said, we're getting all the old world. We're up to like laws of magic reference cards, common magic items reference cards. Uh, who knows if people will buy the generic old world dice, they're even going to be crazier because I could sort of understand the theme dice to make it look cool with your own army, but it feels a bit weird buying generic dice it at does. that price. <laughs> but anyway, we'll see. Yeah. Um, these yeah, card sleeves, some, so what's the purpose mm-hmm. of this? They're not, they're just like magic. Are, are they just like, they protect the card, but they're not like laminated ones. You don't run them through a laminate or anything, do you think? They're just uh, card sleeves. No, I think they're sleeves, aren't they? Well, I mean, yeah, they says they're card sleeves. So right. they'll just be, but they've got a logo on the sleeve, I guess. <laughs> I don't what, know. What, what would do the do card with... have a logo on it anyway? That's I would have I thought. Don't, so like, so I'm confused <laughs> what this thing is, but anyway. Maybe I just don't know what card sleeves are. <laughs> well, normally the card sleeves don't have a logo, though. Right. Yeah. So, I mean, obviously they're going to be charging a lot of, of a very significant premium to have the logo on the card sleeve as well, even though I'm sure on the back of the card there will be the same logo. I don't know. Mm. I really don't get it. Because even if it's not, even if the card is some other art, it'll clash. Well, you cover, you're covering it up then, do you? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right. I don't know. Weird. Don't, there must be something really. else. Is there or not? <laughs> that we're missing on that then. Uh, there must be. I, I, I can only think they're just doing it to, to justify a massive premium. They're going to be like mm. $30 for this pack of 50 card sleeves, you know, or something. It's like a okay. dollar per sleeve. Weird. The old world mm. logo on the backs with a set of 50 sleeve fitch. Mm. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. And we're getting all the different bases in 11 different, 11 different packs, which is, okay, that's fine. Um, yeah. And the bases are good. Like this is actually really important. Mm. Like they just snuck this in here, but they've said, you know, we haven't, do you actually know it was 30 mil bases, square no, bases were going to be in the no, game no, until no, this point? No. Because people were going 30 or 32. Yeah. They, the they didn't know. Yeah. So, so they just like put it in without even announcing it. Yeah. <laughs> it's weird. Funny. It feels like hmm. it, the, it's, it, I'm interested to see their choices and I'm hopefully we'll get this with that, you know, these, these almanacs coming up where they're talking about, you know, they're doing law, I think next, but it'd be nice to just some of the decisions, gaming decisions about why, you know, like, I get moving from 20 to 25 and upping everything a bit. Then then they go ahead and put this 40 by 60 in, which to me is weird because the current monstrous calves that are on the 50 by 75 is like demigriffs and stuff. I don't think they ever look like, would you ever want to move them back to 40 by 60? Or like, oh. I don't think you will, but I just think, I don't know. It's weird. Yeah. Some of these choices. Uh, I mean, without knowing the game and how it plays, I have no idea if that's a good or bad thing, but um, no, at least we know it's yeah. only 11 different sizes. You don't have to remember it. It doesn't really matter, but yeah. No, and it's actually, you really don't have to remember it because it's all just defined on each unit's entry, which, yeah, yeah. you know, we've never had that before. I can't remember. That 150 by 100, is that the Arachnorok size or is it a bit different? Do you know? Do you remember those type of sizes, no, you know, Terragai size and stuff? Yeah, I'd have to look it up. No. No I'll have to get idea. one for Setra because I don't have – he does not have a ba- – he's only got the, like, four horse bases at the front and no base on the back. So – although I could just make one. It's not pretty – it's pretty easy to make a 150 by 100 it is. MDF it base. Is. But uh, anyway. Cool. Um, it's uh, cool, cool to see that, yeah, the as we thought, the cav, the small cav base, the yeah, original one is still, still there, there as well as you – I'm liking to, that so. because I don't have to rebase some of these skelly horsemen and stuff that are done because they're a pain. Yeah. Yeah. Well, assumably it'll be yeah those light cab that stay on there and, yeah. and the heavy cab like go on the big the base. Box. Yeah, in the in the release box. So. But, yeah, we'll see. Yeah. Do you think your um are your knights of the realm gone to thirty by sixty? I mean, the Grail knights did, but in those pictures, did it look 
It did look like they were on the bigger base. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I think so. And I'd be surprised if they're not. I suspect all heavy cab will be yeah. on that base. And like the yeoman, I mean, not that that's means anything because I think we even saw the Grail Knights and smaller ones in a different peak at one point, didn't we? We I did, yeah. Yeah, on the ground entry <laughs> a month ago, they yeah. were still on the small base, yeah. which is funny. I think they've been rebasing their photo in this article now, I think. I'm not it looks sure. I'm still not like, entirely sure. Yeah. Um, yeah. It looks like it's on a slightly bigger base. I think, yeah, but yeah, the Yeoman it's... won't need to be rebased at least or, or need a base adapter, which is nice. Yeah. No, that's like cool. Yeah, so place. no, that'll be good. I mean, um, and plus, it, obviously, all the other manufacturers now know how big things are, so it makes it easier. Um, with the um, the movement tray thing, I, like, do you think it's going to be a direct re-release in the sense that one side of this plastic sheet's twenties and the other side is twenty-five, which won't matter as such, but it's will it carry that legacy? It won't matter because if you want to do forty by forty, obviously, you need twenty as a denomination. Yeah, anyway. isn't that? But, yeah. Um, yeah, do you reckon it, like, how do you do the 30 mil? You know, you probably can't, uh, you'd have to add them up. But I don't know. Because <laughs> you probably need to 30. do a lot of 30 mils, potentially. Or the 30 know? by 60. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just wondering because th- mm, it doesn't work, does it? But obviously once you do enough 30s next to each other, then it'll probably work itself out. But I'm just wondering if they would have redone the mould or not. To, to I think they must have. It says, it says there's 11 packs to choose from. Oh, so, that's for the bases, but I'm talking about the movement tray thing. Oh, sorry, I misread the – yeah, okay. So the movement tray. Because oh, you know how one side of it was 20 mils and on the other side it did indentations for 25 mils? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I'm just wondering what they're going to do there. <laughs> Andrew yeah. was about to throw out a massive pile of heaps of these guys and he just gave them to me because he doesn't want them. He doesn't use them. And I'm like, I'll keep them. So seeing yeah. the price of these, um, I'm glad I, don't think I, did, I don't think I've ever used them, to yeah. be quite honest. I've used them for my Orcs and Empire, so I'll probably just keep doing that, whereas my other ones I just buy those um, Back to Basics ones. But Yeah. 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 I, I only have used the Back to Basic ones and then, then I'm – more recently been printing them myself, but yeah, well, before yeah. that, I entirely relied on back to basics for all my. Oh, all and he's quick and get them out, and yeah, they're, yeah, they're, mm. now they're good. Um, and then this cool map, which um, it, that's not in the price list that I saw dropped. Oh, I don't think I saw it, so I don't actually know. Is that? Do you think that's going to be ridiculously priced? Because it does say printed on heavyweight poster paper. I don't care. I'm buying it. You buying it? Yeah. Okay. Cool. <laughs> there you go. He's buying something. There. That'd be good. Yeah. It looks cool. I like it. I wonder how big it is. Oh, no, it's, yep, the whole it's meter it's in length. Meter. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Just trying to work out where I can put it. Mm. Yes. I may end up buying it and then not being able to put it anywhere, which yeah. should be. Shame. Nah, it's worth having. It's annoying. I had the old one, you know, that really old one. I used to have it on my wall when, as a kid, but at some point it just got wrecked and probably thrown out. It's like, yeah. Oh. Only I'd know. Yeah. Cool. Anyway, that's uh, that is a lot that it's is coming lot. out. A pre-order yeah. on the sixth, which is this yeah. Saturday, and then the following that following article just after that says it specifies too that the release is the twentieth of January, which we might as well mm. open the can of worms up now. Uh, well. So the ba- other sad news, at least for us, New Zealand, and by the sound of it, Japan, their retailers are being told the tenth of Feb. For those countries, which doesn't surprise me because every other major release, like um, the Legion Imperialis and stuff, that all got delayed in Australia compared to UK and US release. So it doesn't surprise me. It annoys me, but I mean, it is what it is. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's annoying. It, like, it, it feels like a big jump, too, because it's like, you know, the 20th is only two and a half weeks away. And then the 10th of February is another three weeks after that. Mm. <sighs> yeah and like in the big scheme of things like i don't care because like, we waited this long it's and i'll probably oh, you mean we'll, the eight years yeah yeah you know what I mean? like i'm not gonna <laughs> at the end of the day i'm not gonna remember it came out three Google weeks over three weeks else. that doesn't bother me it annoys me a little bit running a podcast that we just won't <laughs> there's going to be this weird point where everyone's just gone crazy and got the rules and playing and we're like uh 
if we don't have access to at least some way to look at the you know the rules we're going to be like sitting around going well that's cool we've got nothing to talk about for three weeks there will be things to talk about for sure but it's we'll a just go on bit. hiatus until we <laughs> have the book in our hand yeah. <laughs> we're on strike yeah um yeah it is what it is i don't know that's a, it's a bit frustrating but um yeah not much you can do about it i guess um except for i mean i'm assuming we'll we'll I think through the, you know, the grapevine we'll find out the most of the rules and how things work. But anyway, it's a bit of a shame. But it'll get here eventually and we've waited this long, so I guess we can wait a little longer. I think we have no choice but to do that. <laughs> unless yeah, unless we somehow get it um shipped from the US or something. But yeah. Yeah. Well I mean I do <laughs> yeah. I do have a US postal thing, but that's the thing. Like you said, like if it was a month after it might definitely get here, but if yeah, yeah, you wouldn't want to spend a lot and then go, hmm, it's going to come later than the tenth anyway. <laughs> I don't yeah, know. that'll be funny. Um, I'll have a look. I'll have a play around with it actually. The only thing is, if I look, so if we go, I won't jump too much into Zach Price, and we've seen some leaked pricing, and I mean. Uh, uh, Australia's is always marked up and it's ridiculous. I mean, we'll say it's ridiculous because it is. It's like 50% more expensive than it probably should be if you just converted from UK. Like yeah, per, for sure. Pounds, um, mm. which pushes some of them into stupidity territory. But, I mean, it is what it is, you know. Um, but it, when it is delayed like that, it does make me think, well, is it worth then doing, you know, getting a UK shipping address and just doing that and just ordering them there and getting it shipped, you know, because you're paying so much less um, for it. And then if, even if the postage is whatever, a hundred and something dollars to get it expressed or more, it's still probably cheap. Like, especially it, depending on what you buy, you know, that Tomb King box is mm. $500 Australian when the conversion would be 300 and something dollars, you know? Yeah. yeah it depends how much you buy. I mean, if you did yeah. it as a group, it probably would work out mm. not too bad, so, maybe. Yeah. And mm. half but the issue there is even if you did that, half the stuff probably might not be in stock. And you and I'm guessing when you do one order, you can't get, um, you know, you can't buy three rule books or something. They're probably going to limit. I, would they? Is that, I, I see, I haven't ordered off Games Workshop in a queue yet. Now I'm guessing you haven't either. Like on one of those release days. Uh, not really. Um, I have ordered the, the I've got the Horace Hersey release, but oh, okay. um, right. that was not directly through Games Workshop. That was through another retailer. Right. Yeah. Even through the pre order was through another retailer. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I might have to do that actually. I've never done even that through like, you know, our local ones here. Um, I guess I'll have to bring them up and find out. Can I put my name down for some certain things? Is that what you basically do? <laughs> And hopefully you get it. Yeah, yeah. Sort of. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, we'll check that out. Well, let's jump on to, I don't know, do you want to cover anything else about like the pricing of things or, I mean, we don't overly know. We've seen leaks or you're just happy to maybe jump on to the learn to play thing. There was some things in that video. That yeah, let's talk about the with. learn to play thing. Yeah. So that was just dropped, I think it was this morning our time, wasn't it? Something like that. Um, we know we're getting was a it? war. Yeah, oh, something yeah. like that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We're getting a Warhammer Plus battle report. Uh, this week, and I guess this is the precursor to this a little bit, I think. Do you have a, a Plus account? Yeah, I do, actually. Oh, okay. Yeah, right. I've never used it, really. So I get the free miniatures once a year, which I've never used. So I always <laughs> question whether I should. Uh, but then you get the app for 40K and AOS. Again, I haven't used them. I'm like, uh, well, I don't know. I don't know why I keep paying it, but I just keep doing it. <laughs> <laughs> It's like ten dollars a month, and it's gone up though now. So I'm like, oh, maybe I shouldn't have. But anyway, hmm. it is what it is. Um, I was using initially. Remember, ages ago, you could get old white dwarfs, and look, I don't know if that's still happening. I think they keep releasing them, um, but then I stopped looking at even that. So it's probably not worth it unless more um, old world stuff comes out. The um, so they previewed the it was a was a two minute video on just sort of like. And yeah, it was sort just of like the phases, and it's not the full battle yet. But I'm wondering if this is picks from the battle. Um, I'm not a massive fan, to be honest. Of I don't know. What do you think about? They're not even starter boxes, but yet they're using the contents of those boxes in this game, and yet Bretts don't even have magic in the game. Like I, I feel like 
whole starter box. I've got no issue with how they've done the starter boxes in terms of keeping the cost down. It's all core. I feel like it doesn't showcase yeah. like a realistic game. In terms of, well, hmm, yeah, I know what you, I mean, they're starter boxes. But yeah, but they, like, they don't call them that. So it's just really, I don't know. It's weird. I don't know. <clears throat> I think I, I mean, would have this is a very a bloody short new video. <clears throat> oh yeah, a... but I think we're going to get an actual battle report. And I guess I'm talking using about... the starter boxes. Yeah, the contents of the starter boxes. That's and what just said. the starter boxes. Yeah, I think oh. so. Oh, okay. I didn't realize it was. <laughs> just mm. I think that's what they said. Uh, that was probably in the other email about like what's coming this week. Anyway, that's what I thought was a bit weird. But um, in terms of this video, though. It's um, it's not just the starter boxes because you know you saw the footnights and stuff. So do you want to go through some of the? Do we learn things from the rules? I guess from we the, did. Yeah, we did. Okay. Yeah, cool. <clears throat> yeah. There were a couple of things where they just had yeah just a frame of the new rules in there. Um, I think one of them was the, about the bows. Oh yeah. Um, yep. uh, Three different bows. I think all we knew that was just long bows had armor bane, <clears throat> and that was it. Um, but yeah, they just had a little thing about um, sh- short bows being uh, eighteen inch. I think they were sixteen inch range before, weren't they? So yeah, something tells me something was eighteen inches at one point, but I can't remember what that was. Maybe I'm thinking it was six ed and it was eight, eight something like that. Yeah, maybe but, eighth it was eighteen. Yeah, but they they don't have armor bait, and neither do the regular bows or the war bows, as they're called. Yeah. Um, but the short bows do a quick to fire, so they had they have had a little bit of a buff. Um, so it's interesting um, that they've all they've got more of their own individual sort of uh, uh, specific uses, I guess. So they've yeah, all got yeah. volley fire as well, but it depends on how volley fire works in this game. So we don't really know much about that but it's just yeah it's interesting seeing that longbow only longbows have armor bait mm, you know that, mm. for me that was uh um, so again cool. i mean it's a i won't say it's a huge buff but it's obviously you know not only do you get the range you get this extra little potentially armor 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 pip if you see what i mean you know like piercing pip um yeah i know it's a it's a small thing really mm. <laughs> but yeah sometimes it might change might change things like i was thinking about about this the other day, it's like with the loss of the uh, mounted armor save, and most knights are be running around with three up armor. And if you get hit by a longbow that rolls an armor bane, suddenly you're testing a four up yeah, armor it's like four, rather, 50, rather than 50. a two up. Yeah, you know? like you yeah, still be yeah. a two up, and it actually be a four up from a longbow shot with no like. Yeah, uh, yeah that's it was, true. Oof, it's and big, it's taking it's you longer difference. to get into combat as well. <laughs> so. <laughs> you know what I mean? I know. Well, maybe not if you're Brett Cav, but um, yeah. Uh, let's, yeah, I think yeah they've tried to buff shooting a bit. We'll see how it goes. Just in terms of the lack of movement, but um, yeah, I like it. Um, one thing I did notice though on the first one was it the first one? Did I write this here somewhere? Maybe that wasn't the first one. I don't know what order I've got these images in. So I've got some images. I'm just screenshotting. Oh, you the got rules. these images? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Oh, the chariots, yeah, in the movement thing. The chariots, the skeleton chariots are movement nine on this thing, which they used, always used to be eight. So, I yeah, like that. <clears throat> right. So okay. I wonder if they're going to see any, like Tomb King specifically, I wonder if we're going to see any, any bump on movement in other, some of, some of the other units, you know, which would be interesting. Yeah, that, that would be interesting. Mm. Um, wouldn't it? Like, if, because we know that the yeah the Brett Warhorse of me eight I'm pretty sure yeah that was in there stats. yeah because um, chariots have historically seen... rat gone yeah, even like no further slow. than that. yeah like yeah. eight or seven yeah. or, you know um, yeah board chariots for seven yeah unless they're the elf ones um, so yeah no it's interesting It'd be interesting to little things like that other, yeah fast cav go up a pip of movement mm. like, like um, yeah will the but we well, the saw Omen that... as well. Will they still be at eight or will they go to nine? We'll be just going to see. Yeah, yeah. So did we know too? So I did miss a few of the first charging ones. I thought I took pictures. I oh, know these there. So we've got the um, foot knights here with the four-inch movement and then they talk about rolling the charge to get up to up to woods of ten. Um, did we know that when you failed, you just moved the highest of the dice? Did we already know that or was that – did I – 
Um, remember that right. I remember this is this is this is a really good example of an almanac <clears throat> misdirecting us. <laughs> I remember um vividly that the almanac said if they fail the charge, they still move their full charge distance. Right. Oh, yes. And we were so all like, right oh, wow, what's this? Yes. That's crazy. That's right. You were right. Yeah. Yeah, they yeah. did. We talked about that. So really, no, they didn't. They just moved the full charge distance of their roll. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> These okay. articles. Yeah. Man. Okay, cool. So frustrating. So there might be, um, yeah, might be lots to... That you know, potentially a totally different, not totally different, but yeah, specifics. Okay, cool. Well, that's good. I did see someone mention this on one of their YouTube one, the combat redirect one image with. Uh, oh I yeah, remember which one? The first course. one it was. First I think one, it was yeah. the first one you had. Um, we well, can talk about the re- like the flea bit in a minute, but the we know the small bases are twenty fives, right? Yes. So are they orcs? They're orcs, hey. That's an orc. Does it, that says an orc, does it? I mean, the orc, it's an orc head, the big one, surely. They're orcs. It's a bit orcish. Unit B. So we know that orcs must be on 30s then. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. that makes sense. Yeah, because it's six wide with the 25s and yeah. then there's five across with the 30s. Yeah. So well, they used to be on 25s, weren't they? Yeah, they were, but there was always this feeling like I was, oh. you know they were always saying that don't you know like everything changes so I was like oh I yeah. wonder if I wonder if some of the older stuff's going to stay in 25s and just newer you know chaos warriors and stuff are going to go in 20, 30s or whatever but mm. um you know there's a lot of savage yeah, looks like, there that I've got that might have to get <laughs> yeah, it looks like most stuff that's on 25s will go to 30 right like probably Saurus as well um, yeah yeah which makes it yeah. heaps good to you know retrofit AOS stuff for sure. So I'm not against it. It's just oh okay, yep, there will be rebasing here. Um, that yeah, what do you think of the flea thing? So they got a they got this diagram again. If you haven't seen this new video, uh, you know, go watch it maybe. But basically, they're talking about you know unit C and B are in uh, sorry unit A is in combat with unit B and then. In, Unit C is in the flank of Unit A, and Unit A is going to run away. It used to be center yeah. to center a lot of the time, like, you know, either center to center from the unit with the yeah. highest unit strength, yeah, unit yeah. strength or stuff like that. Um, but now you just flee forty-five degrees away from both units. Like, but what if there's, <laughs> yeah, ones if there's, so what if there's two in your flank and one in the front? Something you know, like just. Does that matter? Like, it's, it's going to be weird. I guess then you would <clears throat> you flee directly away from the central unit, I guess. I don't know. I, like, I don't mind. Like, my initial take on it is like, yeah, okay, this makes more sense. Because they're running away from everyone. Because they're running away from everyone. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, it it makes more sense in the sort of the... The visualization of it. Yeah. Um, yeah. I have no idea game-wise if this is more, going to be more complex. Or not. It shouldn't really be. Unless, Although, and, and I guess there'll be the some ch- weird times where it'll be like there'll be like one guy on the flank and a whole unit in the front, and they still flee forty-five degrees away, which is going to be yeah. And weird, I think unless the there's thing specific they always rules do about wrong that. here, which is I shouldn't say wrong because it's not, but they're always lined up nice. You know what I mean? Like the center of this unit is yeah. always against the center of the other one, and it's like, but that never happens. Um, this is a lot of geometry going on, isn't yeah, it? Because you got to you got to measure <clears throat> two imaginary lines and then measure a forty five degree angle to make a third imaginary line, and then that that's the direction you're fleeing. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, I, it's just I don't know. It's sometimes I, I'm, obviously we need to look at the rule book, but I just think sometimes it's like oh, that's annoying. Like that's um, Colin, if you're worried about wheeling and working on charge, mm. this is like next level. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> In terms of grey area for for mis <laughs> mismeasuring. <Yeah. laughs> yeah, I don't even know how you could yeah. <laughs> The intersection of the two centers center points of is each. Is that what they're trying to say unit. there though? Because like if is C oh, I think that's what they're trying. But imagine if C was yeah. um Again, this is really bad podcasting. Sorry, guys, but <clears throat> there's a unit of five. They've got unit C is in the flank with five, uh, like files, whatever it's called. 
Um, if it had six, it would still be able to maximize, but its center is now not going to be in the center of unit A, you know what I mean? Cause That's right. So what is that? Where do you, does that matter? Like, do you draw a diagonal weird center to center line and then try and do a 40, like, ah, it's just. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I really want. To. I just feel like they should because make the way they've done those those lines, the center of each unit, and then then yeah. the, then and the diagonal line is drawn from the intersection of both of those of those lines. So, so if, if they weren't totally if the flanking unit the wasn't 90, center to center, I mean, it might work out okay. Actually, it just it I might be intuitive, but yeah. trying to do it specifically if there's a line more call might might be a <laughs> might be a bit hard. <laughs> I just. Because at least if you they give directly... you more diagrams of weird setups, and hopefully they still do. Because <clears> it's <throat> just so much easier when you flee in one direction in a square, like either left or right or backwards. Yeah, it's very easy to just get out a ruler or something and work out is is the pursuing unit going to clip whatever it's hitting. You know, like that's usually the concern with these flees. Yeah, or yeah, pursuits. yeah. Is yeah. is the pursuer going to hit another unit? Is the fleeing unit going to clip mm-hmm. something? Um, and if yeah, if you know you're heading in a direct yeah directly away in you know in a rearward motion or to the flank sitting sideways it's much easier to be able to measure and, and work out yeah you know, is there going to be a clip or not versus this yeah you know, weird 44 degree, degree angle where you're going to have to pivot the whole unit in that particular direction and then work out but you can't even put it back on the ground there because the other unit's going to be in the way when you pivot it so you can uh, hold yeah. it up in the air to do the pivot and then work <clears> out <throat> and then then also the question is so those two units that are pursuing, do they pursue directly oh. behind oh, the fleeing we, unit? Yeah. Or do they flee, <laughs> They pursue next to each other and oh, then no. also so they flee, you know. <laughs> uh, the, I mean, the more I talk about this, the less I'm on and board. I don't, I don't envy them at all having to try to come up with mechanics for it because it's, it's, it is tricky, but it's just um, – I, I really hope there's more – creative diagrams that actually show some of the real world cases, you know, not just everything perfectly lined up nice and 90 yeah. degrees. And that's my main complaint with some of this stuff. You want to, like, you want to see some appendices. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, anyway, um, there was a hand weapon stats again. I don't think there was anything. Yeah. Was... I don't think there was anything useful there. I mean, it, sh- it confirmed there was no AP on hand weapons or, yeah, or additional true, hand weapons, true. but that's yeah. all. And then they had the special character, Well, Yeah, they had the, the lady Elise Duchard. Yeah. <laughs> That's the unicorn riding lady. Yeah, yeah, special. And so look she'll at be the in special the special rules on that thing. <laughs> How I counted this this afternoon, 13 special 13. rules. Um, Holy crap. I mean, a lot of them, you know, probably a third of them are like normal, like rules that would normally be yeah, part of the... that goes back to our... Complain a little bit that maybe they should have like swift stride and yeah, swap stop probably attack should have just and... group them a bit better or just italicize i don't know or bold the you know the non you know yeah. what i mean like the other ones because this is the first example where i've seen a special rule but then the special rule added at the bottom it's not actually in the main rule book it's on the um oh. it's on the unit card you know yeah. arcane backlash which We've only got the description there, which is like something happens. It, it's going to be interesting. Maybe she gets a certain role, and if she does it, she gets to fire that spell someone back at someone else, which would be kind of funny. Ooh. Yeah, or if she dispels a spell. Yeah, then, or something then, like that. Then, yeah, it, yeah, it's reflected back rather than. <laughs> but, yeah, it's just interesting. I do like um, the – I'm liking the stats I'm seeing to make things more survivable. Yeah, the fact that this she's got five wounds. I mean, what did unicorns five have before? Wounds. It wouldn't make a difference, eh, if they were wearing riding a unicorn. Uh, well, Bretonians didn't have option to have a unicorn. Oh, okay. Right, yeah. That was Wood Elves. They didn't have a Pegasus, but yeah, I think it was okay. just Wood Elves. Right, yeah. Um, but what did Monstrous um, Cav do and Monsters? What was the combined profile? Jeez, it's amazing when you haven't played a game for a few years. What did combined profiles do in eighth with the wounds? Was it always uh, I think just, just the, t- the highest one is what you took? Wasn't it the highest one? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So. Um, in the Wood Elf book, it had three wounds. So you yeah, know. right. There you go. I mean, things are more survivable, at least wound-wise. I, I really like that because it means we're going to have less of this. Um, I don't know. People are going to be able to take fun 
cool things to play with. And I know I don't want it to turn fully into mo- you know, hero hammer, but um, because you want units. And it's stuff a lot on the more board, survivable because yeah. yeah, rather than being yeah three wounds on the the unicorn and three units on the lord, mm. it's five wounds for the whole model. Yeah. Like you're not yeah. getting picked off or anything. You know, yeah. it's yeah. Because what was we saw the stone draw was eating with D. God, I can't remember. D3, D3 plus, plus one, one, was it, or something yep. like that? Yeah. So, yeah. like, yeah, no, I like I, I'm I'm liking that some of these models are going to be able to hang around a bit more, you know, even if it's an extra turn or two, you know, uh, until they can do what they need to do, especially something like this, which is probably not something you're going to throw into combat all the time anyway, you know. So, um, that's yeah, cool. No. Is there anything else? I mean, I didn't really had a chance to fully digest all these, you know, other things on her, on her stats, but is there anything, um, cause you really love the model. Obviously you're going to, and now that angle, you can see that it's a 40 by 60, whereas some of the other angles we got when it was, was out, I think we were wondering, was it a square base? Was it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. There was, yeah, it was very hard to work out <laughs> mm. if it was square or not, but yeah, it's very clear. Um, yeah. that it is, uh, and like, do you think she's going to ever be able to be, no, the only monstrous cab you guys would have would be the Peg Knights, and they're definitely on 40 by 60s by the look of it now. Um, but they're skirmish. They're always shown in skirmish formation too. I can't believe she's only 225 points. Mm. That is crazy. So in the 6 air book for the Bretts, the Prophetess of the Lady, the base Prophetess is 190. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, so there's no mount. You know, that's still level three, which, and, and this character is a level three. You know, yep, she doesn't yep. have a level four upgrade, but she's still got, yeah, a, a monstrous mount and, you know, a couple of special rules and uh, things going on. Mm. So that's uh, that interesting. Gonna be, so this will be something that's this. Do you think this, this is definitely in the Arcane Journal, isn't it? Must be. Yeah, because sorry. That, yeah, the, there's yeah, no special yeah, this characters is, in the main no, book. So, yeah. No, okay. there isn't. It's just in the, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. In the picture I saw of the Archangel General of the Brett one, I'm pretty sure I saw her entry. Okay. Um, yeah, cool. yeah, no. Yeah, she's in the, in the journal. No, um, looks good. I don't know. And she's got, anything else? what else has she got? Oh, oh she's got two so other um, magic items as well, like yeah, the Chalice so, of Brion and yeah. the Staff of the Elements, you know? Yeah. So she's got that and Arcane Backlash, and she's only 225 points. Mm. Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> and she's got five wounds. The Brex is sounding quite buffed, at least from oh, movement. Just, like some of those bloody rules around how quick they can charge those quests. Yeah, we'll see. I'm just, it just worries me if, we're, if everything's dropping in price, how... Yeah. <clears throat> A big like still. We're still many... going to be seeing massive six, yeah, eight, yeah. eight dead armies, you know, just, just I guess, everything's cheap. Again, not to go full fifth edition Hero Hammer, but I feel like, you know, will the, will the points difference be made up because you're being able to put more of these big characters in and you still don't need a crap ton of, you know, models, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so... Maybe yeah. they're trying for that sort of balance, but I guess yeah, we'll maybe see. dropping the pro- the price of the heroes and yeah. keeping the rank and file. Yeah, um, I don't know. We'll just have to yeah have to wait and see how the how the game the balance of the game plays out. Mm. I didn't see there wasn't much else in that video, but obviously I'm looking forward to the battle. Report, it was a two which, minute video. You know, I feel like we've managed to squeeze a good yeah. twenty minutes. Yeah. of <laughs> I did of make a note. You probably saw it. Was that a real voice on that video, or was that an AI voice? I saw that note, yeah. and I I saw that note before I listened to the video. If that's an AI voice, I think it's pretty good. Pretty bloody good. Oh, okay, oh, just, to me it sounded like AI until near the end. She got to be excited at one point. That's when oh yeah, okay, mate, it's the excitement bit, like yeah. a minute and a half in, yeah. and she got yeah the yeah. The, the the tone changed. And yes, I'm like, and I'm like oh, okay, this has got to be real. I think you're right, but I was just thinking, man. It's certainly I don't know because I know yeah they've probably done a bit of this on the budget. <laughs> I was wondering if they've. You know, done some of that. Oh man, I don't know. Is there other? Let's what else? What other little tidbits? So we got some pricing here. I'm just looking at our show notes, but we talk through most of that. Um, I mean, is it worth talking through just the list of things we think are definitely dropping? Because is there a mismatch of what we just went through versus what we've seen on the article? No, there's not. I don't think so. Uh, well. There's not not everything is in the the leak that we're seeing. 
right. that's been in the articles. Okay. Like some of the the old, the classic metal ones and stuff aren't. Oh really yeah, here. Gomans aren't there. So I guess is that saying that even though they've got that article out that says it's coming on the six, not everything even in that article is going to be available for pre order on the six. Yeah. Possibly. I mean, these are these are just core. These are just leaks. So I don't mm. think we we should be drawing too much into the leaks. Yeah. Really. True. Yeah. Because no there's idea. actually no there's no metal miniatures at all. It's only a plastic box, plastic box, plastic box. Yeah. Well, you That's know what? It. Sorry. Okay. So now I know what it probably is. Um, potentially. Or is it only what the stores are going to yes. have, and then the metals are going to be online be only, online GW only, only, coming from yeah. the UK or th- from GW? Yeah. That's what it'll be. Yeah. yeah, I won't say it's made to order, but it might be similar to that. Because you know the Forge World ones you get now, they say even ship from the UK. Yeah, they so do. I wonder if a bunch of that stuff will be that. Like if you buy Grail Knights, it's coming from the UK. Yeah, possibly. You know. So, which that's, I mean, that's fine. So that makes sense then. That's why we're seeing the discrepancy probably. Um, as to what the retailers are getting. No, that's cool. Okay. I don't know, man. Um, is there, there's, there was other articles. I don't think they're on the law. We'll probably do that on another day. <laughs> um, I bet tonight or tomorrow we'll wake up and there'll be either that battle report out or there's going to be something else out. Um, I reckon they're going to be That'd pumping be crazy. stuff. They keep pumping something every other day. Oh, yeah. Well, they're still going to say do one, the round one... table and they're doing a battle report on Oh, yeah. What the hell was so that round table thing? things coming this week. I saw that thing. Yeah, round table law. Yeah. So, so is that going to be like a discussion? Like, yeah, I think people? so. Yeah, it'll probably be like one of those interview things, you know, where they sometimes like ask. Because they, they did it for Imperial, Imperialis, however you say it, where there's, you know, someone's answering questions about, some of the decisions they made and stuff. But this is the round table, so they're going to have multiple people involved, so that's multiple cool. people, and they should went the law. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, that'd be good to know. Yeah. Um, and it sounded like they were trying to say that they're going to answer why they chose the factions they did. Because the rumour's always been, and I think it's still sort of true, that they're picking things where it's not conflicting, so to speak, with AOS right now. Do you know what I mean? Like in terms of, um, you know, Mostly, at least the beastmen are a bit weird because they they are. But oh, okay, in terms of the, the factions figures, they've chosen, yeah, to you know what I mean. Support, like, not just Tomb, Tomb King, Kings and Bread aren't even in AOS. Chaos has enough range that's different. Yeah, the half the dwarf range isn't available anymore. Some of it is. The, mm. the old higher stuff all gone. Empire's gone. Um, wood elves are gone, except for you know some of the Sylvan Ethy stuff. <laughs> Well, the Empire stuff's only gone because they made an effort to pull them out, didn't they? Because they yeah, were the same thing happened with the Sigma. yeah, they did. But like they've since then, prior to that, they did the um the new high elves, whatever they're called. What are they called? The Lumineth. Oh yes. And the old high elves yes. were in Cities of Sigma, but then they pulled that all the time. So now, like you've got new high elves in AOS, you don't need the old high elves. And so I yeah. feel like, is there any truth to how they've chosen them, or do you think it's all down to law? You know. Uh, I think and, there's it's inevitable that hmm. they've got to have an element of that yeah, for yeah. sure. So it'd be interesting to see. So. Apparently, they're answering some of that, but I guess we'll wait and see. But you wanted to, yeah? What do you want to pick up? What do you want to discuss? One more thing? Or? Oh, I was going to say, look, as much as everything's been delayed, at least the um the Lord of the Lands book doesn't yes. appear to have been delayed. No. Yes, you're right. <laughs> we can, Australia's we can getting... whistle away our time reading yeah. <laughs> reading the law book. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and that end time. So that, uh, that end time fall of empires, do you know much about that? Is that like a combined book? No, I don't know. Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah. Mm. I don't know. Uh, it's – which one is that fall of empires? I think it's – isn't it – I've got it here. Um like is it a trilogy? It's the first or two novels. First two. Okay. okay. Return of Nagash and Fall of Altdorf. Mm. And nah, a prequel probably. novella, Sequels Blood, and a trio of short stories. Okay. Am I selling you? <laughs> no, nah, I don't know. I I think I would like to look at that at one point or read it, but I think I'll be too busy to I want to get through the Cetra, uh, not Cetra, the Nagash series, because I think that'll be more relevant almost, you know what I mean? I reckon they would have drawn for some of that. In terms of Tomb mm. Kings, and I should know more about the Tomb Kings than I do. Obviously, the reality is I never really played them. Like I love the look of them. I bought the sixth edition book, 
I didn't have any because I didn't have any money back then. And then they were shit and eight, so I never played them. Yeah. So yeah. even though I love them, I love Egypt history and stuff, I've just never played them. So I'm not massive into the I've, – I've learned a bit of the law from reading the army books, but that's it. So, um, yeah. yeah. Yeah, fair enough. Cool. Um, um, I don't know, man. Is there anything else or is that – one? Well, uh, one other thing I was just thinking about, uh, it's that, okay, so there's a delay in the release of the physical books. What happens with the digital ones? Oh. The EPUBs. I was literally about to ask you that. I know. I don't know. And so I have actually emailed from our Old World Fanatics address to Games Workshop support to ask about that. <laughs> have you? Oh, yeah. I great. sent it after Love. I chatted to you earlier. And I also said, we run an old world podcast in Australia trying to focus on Australian stuff. And it's a bit frustrating when uh, we won't even have the for a book? I just uh, said, who do we talk to? Who do we talk to? <laughs> I know we're little, but we're, you know, let's, 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 uh, per capita, per capita, are we little? I don't know. Maybe we're not. <laughs> we're not. We're pretty little. So, yeah, I know. <laughs> we're, we're persistent. That's, yes. our, that's our best well, quality. I said that. I said we're weekly episodes. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we'll see. But, yeah, I don't know. It'd be nice to be able to at least, you know, get access to the rules so we can actually be, you know, because this is the cool thing with this game release. You can play it if you've got the rules. We've got all the figures. So, mm. yeah. There yep. is one other last big, big thing, which is on our way onto the outro, and that is we got, Two more paid Patreons two this more, week. Two more paid Patreons. Yeah, and oh, a free one because there is incredible. a free tier, which apparently you can do. And I, I turned it on, but I've never seen it, so I don't even know how you do it. But um, oh, so now we have Jared, Todd. We know Todd; he's awesome. Uh, Sean and Gunwich are now our Patreon. So a big thank you for them. So yeah, I don't know if that nice. that must have been your awesome shout out last week, Josh. That. Pulled, pushed, pulled them over the line. <laughs> wow. Oh dear. Yeah. Look, but yeah, obviously do we don't best. expect uh, everyone to do that, but yeah, just signing up for those who do. And I know it's going to be, you know, just had Christmas and there's a massive expense coming with old world. So we don't expect anyone to, to give us any money, but if you do, it does go a little way to obviously paying for hosting and all that sort of stuff. Um, but yeah, Josh, well, you... yeah, it's been a delay of three weeks, so you might as well, a little bit towards the Patreon. <laughs> That's, while right. We're That's right. Yeah, it'll help us um, come up with some content while we're waiting for our three-week gap. <laughs> you know what's funny though? If it sells out like everyone else is saying, heaps of people won't have it on the twentieth either. <laughs> anyway. So. Yeah. 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 Uh, That's true. Do you? I keep asking you questions about ordering stuff for Games Workshop, and you probably haven't either. When things sell out. Has there been books that sell out or is it more just the figures and stuff? I think it's usually the figures and mm. usually the other, like the dice and stuff that usually right. seem to have volume, less volume. Yeah, okay. yeah. So they seem to disappear more easily. Right. Okay. I think the Necromunda the book might have, but that out. was waiting for ages to come out, like when they re-released yeah, right. that. So that might have. But they would yeah. reprint that pretty quick. So it's not you're going to make wait six months or anything. Yeah, I feel like the books are, yeah, they've got a pretty good production system for those. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Well, that's that's good to know. Okay, well, do you want to wrap this one up then, Josh? And, um, yep. Hopefully next week we'll be, all of us will be back on, but we're getting close to CanCon too, so I'm guessing at some point, Obviously, we'll keep doing the old world stuff as it drops, but might have to do a little bit more sixth ed content just to cover some as we roll into CanCon. Maybe do some. Yeah. Um, we're not going to do every bloody army review, but we might do like well, some top six, fives that are we've interesting. Got Sixty-four or players. Yeah, I know. So we're so not we're not doing a list by yeah. list for sure. Yeah. Um, so, but yeah, we might. Yeah, as I say, we might do a yeah top few. Three or four or five. I shouldn't say top for each uh, one. What, what Not top, be a but better idea, like we just uh, pick fun some list or something. Yeah, interesting ones that lists we find or interesting. Yeah. either interesting or ones that we think might do well, or yeah, just quite our eye for whatever reason. Yeah. Um, That'd be fun. Because there's been some really fun lists being submitted that aren't necessarily going to be competitive, but definitely um, look uh, okay. well, that, interesting or super themey. So yeah. um, we definitely, and just some. Um, special characters that have come in, coming in as well. A few people oh, cool. have asked us, and you know, depending. And the thing is, like, they asked us, "Can we use a special character?" And we're like, 
Probably, but it depends on the contents of the list. So send us a draft list, and mm. then we'll tell you if 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 that works. So that's right. that's okay. how we've been doing it. Um, because yeah, it it always comes down to the context of how the list is built as to whether or not that special character um, is going to be okay to play or not. Okay, cool. No, I'm looking forward to. It. I'll. Um, I did get worried that I hadn't sent mine in, and realised it is. Gen 14, the list is next. So I wouldn't mind. I haven't played the chariot list yet. So, and Andrew's away for the week. So I think I'm going to try to get um, a game in with um, well, someone. Uh, there's two people yeah. I've been looking at playing with. Um, like Daz will play too, yeah. actually. So there might be, I might be able to get one or two in in the next week or so. Yeah, because, yeah, it's only yesterday, end of next week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'll have to try Gosh. and get them in. And, and yeah, it'd be good for people to start setting in more lists because it makes it easier for us to to do the admin of filing them all um, yeah. if they come in over a longer period of time. <laughs> cool. Awesome. Anyway, well, um, yeah, do you want to, you know, should we call it there then? Sounds yeah. Good. Okay. I think so. We're about two hours now, aren't we? Awesome. Yeah. yeah, we are yeah. right on, I think, man. Awesome. Thanks, Josh. Uh, yeah, so listeners, thank you for listening to another Old World Fanatics. I know we've been coming out thick and fast at the moment. and I think this is like the third episode in like <laughs> – six days or something i know just because crazy. of the, the schedule but there's been and, so many articles dropped yeah, as well yeah. so hopefully people still uh, enjoy listening we enjoy rambling on our weekly ramblings um and yeah please leave us a five-star review if you get a chance um obviously check out our patreon if you are so inclined but yeah hit us up on socials like what are you gonna get you know for um on Saturday, you know, where are you gonna what are you pre-ordering? What are you hoping to get? Are you a rule book person? Are you a bloody starter box, whatever it's called, person? I'd like to know that. So hit us up on the socials on that. Um, like I said, we're mostly popular or you know, more frequent, I guess, on Instagram and Facebook. But look, anywhere you're on socials, we probably are as well. Just search for Old World Fanatics. Um, but until next time, thanks for listening. And Josh, I will talk to you next week and I guess we'll talk to Andrew too. Yep, yep, Andrew will be awesome. back. Cheers, mate. Cool. See right, ya. See you. Bye. That's $75 dice there.